by faith I receive my sight, and now I am happy all the day. At the cross, at the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light, and the burdens of my heart rolled away. It was there by faith I received my sight, and now I am happy all the day. I do 
What do we say? Amen. Second item, as we welcome the family life program. Kia sauti yetu waja wako tutazame kwa huruma Nyosha mkono wako warehema Tushikilie ju ya ulimungu Musiyo na haja nasi Uyate ya nuruji ya zetu imaresha hatu wazitu Wangu huza kwa emwara Nena nasi mwyo ni tufundishe kuyate na mapenzi yako Sikia sauti yetu waja wako tutazame kwa huruma Nyesha mkono wako warehema Tushikili yetu ya ulimungu Musiyo na haja nasi Uyate ya nuruji ya zetu imaresha hatu wazitu Wangu huza kwa emwara Nena nasi mwyo ni tufundishe kuyate na mapenzi yako Wewe ni mungu wangu wako fuwetu Mungu tutende kwa utukufu wako ya we Tumejeru hii wa mioyo Na kukepe rushwa kamanzi Nye wana atwa kusi hii Tufanyie na fasi Rama ni yetu msala Batu na utazamia Ulipo mirisha upendo Wako kutu wenye dambi Tumeko mbolewa Wewe ni mungu wa wako Fuwetu mungu tutende kwa utukufu wako ya we Tumejeru hii wa mioyo Na kupepe rushwa kamanzi Nye wana atwa kusi hii Tufanyie na fasi Rama ni yetu msala Batu na utazamia Ulipo mirisha upendo Wako kutu wenye dambi Tumeko mbolewa Mbile tulikufikia jalali baba yetu tusikie Wenye dambi hatu na uwezo Hatu staili kutaza mauso wako tume kukosea Iwa pimsada wako hata lini tuyapitie Kadabu ya keshetane Shuka kwetu nyumbani utu wandale mitego tuwe uru Mbile tulikufikia jalali baba yetu tusikie Wenye dambi hatu na uwezo Hatu staili kutaza mauso wako tume kukosea Iwa pimsada wako hata lini tuyapitie Kadabu ya keshetane Shuka kwetu nyumbani utu wandale mitego tuwe uru Wewe ni mungu mungu wako fuwetu mungu tutende kwa utukufu wako ya we Tumejeru hii wa mioyo Na kupepe rushwa kamanzi Nye wana atwa kusi hii Tufanyie na fasi Rama ni yetu msala Batu na utazamia Ulipo mirisha upendo Wako kutu wenye dambi Tumekombolewa Wewe ni 
ni Mungu wa mwokovu wetu Mungu tutende kwa utukufu wako yawe tumejeruhiwa mioyo na kupeperushwa kama zige bwana tukusi tufanyie nafasi Ramani yetu msalaba tunaotazamia uliponiresha upendo wako kwetu wenye dhambi tumekombolewa wewe ni Mungu wa mwokovu wetu Mungu tutende kwa utukufu wako yawe tumejeruhiwa mioyo na kupeperushwa kama zige bwana tukusi tufanyie nafasi Ramani yetu msalaba tunaotazamia uliponiresha upendo wako kwetu wenye dhambi tumekombolewa wewe ni Mungu wa mwokovu wetu Mungu tutende kwa utukufu wako yawe tumejeruhiwa mioyo na kupeperushwa kama zige bwana tukusi tufanyie nafasi Ramani yetu msalaba tunaotazamia uliponiresha upendo wako kwetu wenye dhambi tumekombolewa wewe ni Mungu wa mwokovu wetu Mungu tutende kwa utukufu wako yawe tumejeruhiwa mioyo na kupeperushwa kama zige bwana tukusi tufanyie nafasi Ramani yetu msalaba tunaotazamia uliponiresha upendo wako kwetu wenye dhambi tumekombolewa What do you say? Praise God church. Praise God. Are we there? Praise God church. Amen. We want to take this opportunity to welcome all of us to the service of today and we want to begin the family life program. How many people do not know the uh, speaker of this program? How many people do not know who is speaking to us at this moment? Our guest is known and I would just like to invite her to come up front pray and then we begin the program. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Strong families for eternity. Let's bow down for a word of prayer. Walemo. Loving Father in heaven, thank you, Lord of glory, for bringing us before you this evening. Father, we lack words to describe how loving and faithful you are to us. Thank you for the good weather. Thank you for the calm atmosphere. Now we ask you, God, to speak to us. Speak with us as your children. And at the end of this session, Lord, may we appreciate that the message you had for us this evening has been delivered and encrypted in our hearts. Lead us till the end in Jesus' holy name. Uh, we want to thank God again for giving us this evening. And I want to say, children of God, from the text that we read yesterday, we saw that woman crying to Jesus. And she was crying to Jesus because of daughter. And this daughter, the Bible says, was demon possessed. Now, this is what I want to speak about this evening. Demon possession is common in our families. And it is also common in our institutions. A number of 
of times parents are disappointed they don't know where to run to. And I want to thank God for this woman. Because she went to Jesus. Today I want to invite all of us to listen to this wonderful topic known as spiritualism. 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 Now, spiritualism is a system of belief or religious practice based on communication with the spirits of the dead. Mano en watch mara bedo gi ye kata ngeyo ni joma osetho inyalo bet kitudo rigodo. Now, this is what is there in our society today. Ma egima nie engima waka uono. People are communicating with the demon. Ji woyo gija chien. And they have designed this through the dead. Kendo wachni giketo chopo kare kagitiyo gi jomo tho. Now I want to say this. Adwa wacho kama. As my brother said yesterday during uh, the topic of prophecy. Kaka owadwa no wacho nyoro e samar prophecy. Now there are people who have believed that the dead are not dead. Uh, nitiere joma nigi ye kata mungeyo ni joma otho adieri ok githo. So that when they see these people in dreams. Kagi neno jogi elek. Or they fantasize them. Katagi paro kuomgi. Then they believe that the spirits can still communicate to them. Koro gi ye ni jogi podi nyalo uwe okodgi. Now it came to my attention. Koro no bide pacha. And the question I want to answer this evening. Kendo duo penjo madua duo kodhi ya mbukuono. Who is the demon? Kare ja chien en nga. And where did he come from? Tono a kanye. I want to tell you children of God. Kadua nyiso unyithin nyasai. That our father who is a Russia's God. Ni wonu ama en nyasai. Created everything perfect. No chwe yogik moko duto kare. And there was no sin. Kendo ne onge richo. The angelic body were perfect. Malaike ne beyo. And even humanity was perfect. Kendo dhano bende ne ni kare. There was nothing that was amiss. Onge gima ne ok ni kare. And so where did the demon come from? Tokare jachie no akanye. Now when you read the book of Ezekiel 28 from 12 to 15. Kisomo book mar Ezekiel sura prario gaboro chakrewes apagari onya gapagabi. The Bible tells us that God created a perfect being. Muma wacho nwa ninya sae no chue yogik mo. Which was full of wisdom and perfect beauty. And this king of Tyre described in that text was likened to Lucifer. And when you go to verse 17, Ezekiel 28 from verse 12 to 17, the Bible tells us that God God created Lucifer perfect. Muma nyiso wa ninya sae no chue yo Lucifer kare chuth. Now this was an angel. Ma ne en malaika. And this angel was created by God. Kendo malaika ninya sae manu chue. And the Bible tells us that he was the most beautiful of all the creatures. Kendo muma nyiso wa ni en ya mano beri ya malo yogi kumano chue duto. Now listen. Koro chikiti. Verse 17 says. Wes apaga birio wacho. That this angel became beautiful. Proud. Koro o o ni malaika ni ne sunga odonjo ni. And the pride ruined the wisdom that was in him. Kendo sunga ni no tie korea koma nene ikuome. Now let me tell you something today. We anyisi egimoro ka uo no. Sin originated from pride. Richo no uo kukuom sunga kata ngai. Any time will you feel that you are proud. Samora mora mi winjo e chunyi ni ingi sunga moro kata ngai moro donjo ni. That you are better. Smarter than others. Iber maloyo jomoko. More special than others. Kata inyalo timo gimoro ma jomoko kinyal timo. Then you are copying the character of Lucifer. Koro kanyo ika ukit Lucifer. And that is what happened when he was in heaven. Kendo mane gima no timo reka nene polo. Lucifer as an angel. Lucifer kaka malaika. Perfect and a bearer of light. Kano chue ma bear truth kendo no ting nenja ting ler. Had the pride. No sunga no donjo ne. And the Bible tells us from the book of Isaiah chapter 14 Ah uh, kendo muma nyiso wa book mara Isaiah sura paga ngwe from verse 12 to 15 chakra wa sapaga rio nyaka paga bi that out of that pride ni kaluo regi sunga ni the prophet foresaw uh, janabi no neno that he coveted 
the higher position. He wanted to be at the throne where God was. Now God would not allow anybody to be equated to him. When you read the Bible, when Herod tried to be like God, the Bible says that the angel struck him. And from there, the worm started eating his body. When you look at Nebuchadnezzar, when he lifted himself to be like God, he had to be turned to a beast. And he went to the forest. Isaiah 42 verse 8 we read yesterday. Where God says that the, my God, the Lord is my name. Uh, and, and my glory will I not give to anybody. I want to tell you children of God. Any time pride infiltrates somebody. And someone wants to elevate himself above others. To an extent of equating himself with God. Then what comes is God cannot allow that. And the Bible says in Revelation 12 of 7 to 9 there was war in heaven and Christ fought Satan and his angels. And at that, that point the serpent was dropped from heaven. Now when you read the book of Luke chapter 10 verse 18 Satan, Satan fell as a lightning from heaven. And Revelation 12 of 12 tells us that a voice was heard and he said war to the inhabitants of the earth and the sea. The devil has been thrown unto the earth. Let me tell you children of God. God did not create a devil. God did not create a devil. God did not create a devil. He created an angel. And this angel out of pride. He created an angel. He created an angel. And this angel out of pride. He created an angel. 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 He and out of God's love he could not finish Lucifer but he threw him out of heaven and woe unto us who inhabit the earth and when you read from the book of Genesis this is when uh, Lucifer got a chance to get into the garden of Eden and then he caused our uh, parents to sin. And after that sin came into the earth. And the name changed from Lucifer to Satan. And for he has many names according to Revelation. The old uh, serpent uh, that ancient past, uh, serpent the demon Mago. and name them. Mago he has te. all those bad names because he changed from a perfect being to imperfect being. Therefore when we talk about the demon today we are talking about that rebellious angel that was thrown out of heaven and he did not come alone he came with the angelic body that rebelled now the spirit of prophecy tells us that God tried all the ways so that uh, Lucifer would 
change his mind. Ni mondo Lucifer olokie pache. From beguiling man. Mondo kick or wound dhano. But because a heart that has decided to perish will always perish. To nikech ngat mose ngado wach kacha chuny mose ngado wach ni eno dua room o chuth to nyako room. He went ahead. No me, no the no the nyime. And is executed what he had been warned against. Mo timo gima ne ose kwere. God on the other hand did not leave Adam and Eve like that. Ah nyasae to bende no koweyo Adam kod Hawa kama no. He had forewarned them. No ose siemogi. That they should be careful. Ni mondo gi bed joma uh otang. Otang. Of Lucifer. Kuom Lucifer. Who had rebelled against him. Mano se nganyo kuom nyasae. So God put all the strategies in place. Kore nyasae no keto kenge duto. To ensure that man does not get into sin. Mondo o tem mondo da no kik donji e richo. And therefore Lucifer the demon came to man. Koro kuom mano. Lucifer no biro kuom dhano. And he's in the earth today. Kendo en ye piny kawuono. I want to tell you children of God. Adwa nyiso unyi thin ya sai. The book of 1 Samuel 28.8. E book maru Samuel mokuongo. Sura prario gaboro we saboro. Talks of familiar spirits that profess to be of dead people. O woyo kuom jogo macha wondore kata keto renigin mag jogo mano setho. And the Bible tells us of how Saul had gone to that witch of Endor. Kendo. Kendo muma nyiso wa kaka Saulo no se di kuwa ajuwa gamara sedoncha. Endor. And when he went there. Kano di kanyo. He wanted that woman. No duwaro ni miyo cha. To bring forth the spirit of Samuel who had slept. Mondo oke liye tipo mar Samuel mano se nindo. Now children of God. Nyithin nyasai. I want to tell you. Adwa nyiso. That that devil. Nija chien. The demon we are talking about. Ya chien mawa uwe okuwa mene. Who beguiled our parents. Mane uwe ndo jonyo alwa. Has now come. Ose biro. Expressing himself. Kakoro o yangore. Using people. Ka o tiyo gi dhano. It is also using spirit. Kendo tiyo gi tipo. And especially the spirit of the dead. Kendo tipo magjo mosetho. It's also using objects. Kendo tiyo gi gik moko. And I want to tell you that it is not something that started yesterday. Beyo ken gimo chakore nyoro. It started then. No chakore chien kucha. Now the book of 1 Corinthians 10.20. E book marjo korintho mokuongo. Sura paru we sariyo. We sprariyo. It tells us that the Gentiles worshipped the devils. Nyiso wani. Jomane okjo yahudi no uo no lamo. And they were worshipping idols. Kendo negi lamo sanamu. Now let me remind you. We are parni. There is no middle ground. Onge ka diere. Someone is either worshipping God or worshipping the devil. Ngato o lamo nyasae kato lamo jechien. Now the idols are being used. Gikma opagi sanamugi. But the spirit behind them is the devil. Togi manie tok gigi te en jechien. Someone can use anything. Ngato nyalo tiyo gigi mora mora. Even the creeds that are being recited. Kata gik mwa wa wa chogi. Any name can be inserted. Nying mora mora inyalo keti. But behind all this is the devil. Eto gigi duto enja chie. It is either worshipping God or worshipping the devil. And iwe la monya sae kati la muja chie. And I want to remind you the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 5. And wa paronie book mara Ecclesiastes suro chiko. West a beach. That the dead do not know anything. And therefore when there is a spirit that is purporting to be one of a dead person. Then that is a wicked spirit. The spirit of the devil. Mano. Tipo marja chien. Revelation 16.14. Fwenye aparga uchia lwes aparga ngwen. It tells us that even the devil can perform miracles. Onyi so wa ni kata ja chien nyalo timo honi. So the topic that we are handling this evening. Koro watch mawa wacho ka uono. Is a very sensitive one. En man ginengo ahinya. To tell us that Lucifer became a demon when he rebelled against God. Manyi so wa ni Lucifer no lo kore ja chien kane onganyo koa kuwa mnyasai. And therefore he's expressing himself in different modes. Now there is a writer who says that the devil is as ancient as creation. So you can imagine as education sector uh, improves its style 
The devil is also perfecting his skills. Kaka yore mag somo imedo kel weche manyien odiechieng kodiechieng jachien bende medo medo meke. So people go to the university, the devil had been there before. Koro ka ji somo mochope university e mbalariany kacha jachien no sechopo kanyo. The technology improves, he had gone ahead of that. Ka koro rieko mar piny ni medore to en nosekalo kanyo. And therefore let me tell you. Koro we anyisi. That the spiritualism we are talking about. Ni watch mar spiritualism wa uwe ka uwe. Communication with the underworld is actively working today. And it's war unto them who normally rubbish them. And the, the, the devil really takes pleasure when he sees some people are trying to belittle his activities. Matin. Let me tell you in the book of 2nd Kings 17 17 It explains to us onyisoa that spiritualism ni spiritualism is connected with Baal worship and sun otudore kod lamo Baal kod lamo chieng I have as I've said manakaka se wacho that there is no middle ground onge kama diere when somebody is worshiping something other than God. Kangato lamo gima chielo mo pogore ginya sai. Be it the sun. Be it bal. Kato bed bal. Be it any image. Kato bed gimo pa. Or any medium. Kata gimora mora. That person is worshipping the devil outrightly. Mano ngama lamo nya sai ratiro. Is worshipping the devil outrightly. O lamo nya sai ratiro. Is worshipping the devil outrightly. O lamo nya sai maradieri. The devil Sorry. Now you know I told you the devil has also gone to school. And therefore he uses every aspect. Now when you read the book of Psalms chapter 106 verse 37. They sacrifice their sons and daughters unto the devil. The innocent blood was sacrificed to the idols of Canaan. Now, I want to say this. The Bible tells us that God took the Israelites to captivity because of their worship of idols. In simple terms, they were worshipping the devil. Now when you read God's commandments, He tells us that you should not have any other God before me. And He says He is a jealous God. Somebody cannot take his place. And therefore, if there is anything humanity should worship, it is God alone. And therefore, today, our children have been drawn to the worship of the devil. And how does the devil do this? He uses food stuff. And the food stuff that is loved by our children. Are like sweets, biscuits, biscuits, and juices. Juice. They give it to them. Another way they used to recruit our children into the worship of the devil. They use money because they know. In our families, any responsible parent will monitor how money is used by the children. And therefore, the devil will give them money so that they use it without control. Another way in which our children are recruited into the devil worship, they give them gifts, the presents. Somebody just just give them a shirt. Or a skirt. Cut a skirt. Or any clothing. And then uh, you'll realize also that they use ornaments. The rings. Uh, the necklaces. Bangle, and the bangles. Yes. Now our children are given the ornaments. Because these are things that we 
will always attract the attention of children. And how do this gift work? Because somebody can say, hey, if anything, anybody can be given a gift. Now, I am talking out of a study and a research I've done. And I will give you the samples that I have are interacted with in our institutions. Now this is what happens. The gifts that are given to them either food or money or present or ornaments they make them weaken on prayers. So the child cannot pray. And it is not the children alone. Even old people alike. Once they have taken these things, then their power of prayer is reduced. Anytime they want to pray, now they feel tired. And they ignore prayer. Number two, they will lose taste for going to church. Or even the word of God. God. So that when they hear the word of God preached anywhere, they will rather go far away from there. And if they are forced to be where the word of God is preached, the spirit will send them to sleep. And if they cannot sleep, they will distract others by telling useless stories in the church. That is not a simple spirit. It is the spirit of the devil. Number three. These people develop interest in parallel activities. So that when people are in church. They would rather go and watch television. They would go and watch a football match. Or they would rather do something. That is contrary to what is made. Number four, once they have received the gifts, it will make them be glued to certain particular programs on television. And for the children, there are certain cartoons that when you watch keenly will be teaching these children certain things. Some of them to be violent to dishonor God and to use certain tactics that the devil instill in them. Another thing that these gifts do to their lives they become absent minded. You'll find your child seated somewhere doing nothing but is absent minded. You try to talk to them, that is when they come to their senses. I want to tell you, children of God, these uh, gifts that are given to them also make them have some horrific dreams. They dream about snakes. About people running after them with sharp objects. People who want to shoot them and finish their lives. Or wants to stab them. And therefore these people don't have good sleeps. And once they wake up from such dreams. They are never settled. And this one makes them have unknown fears. Everywhere they go. You realize some of them cannot even remain in the house alone. They cannot go to places alone. They are seeing unseen things. Because there is some thing that has been given to them and has instilled this kind of fear. Now another thing I told you they become reluctant about the word of God. They belittle them so that even if they are forced to listen to the message of the cross they make fun about it so that it does not have impact in their lives. Last but not least, these people become easily annoyed. 
And once they are annoyed, the solution for their annoyance is to finish their life. The reason why you will see most of our children today, when they reach a point where they are annoyed, the next thing they are thinking about is to finish their life. Because the enemy has put something in them. Using the modes that I talked about. Now I said this one also happens to the adults. And it is something that develops over time. Until it becomes mature. And when the devil I told you the devil is as ancient as creation. Once he observes and sees that this person has now gone down spiritually. And this person has been weakened enough. Now they send their agents. And the agents may come in spirit form or even physically. And once they have come, they will speak to you about now the outright worship and working for the devil. And many people, because they have been weakened, now they can get more of the presents given to them. And as they receive the gift, they become officially initiated. And once they are initiated, they become members. And you find they can appear and reappear. They can do miracles. Now there was a boy in one of the nearby schools I will not mention. No, he was doing strange things in the dormitory. And one day we happened to go to that school. And the boy told us that me, I am a devil worshipper. I have only come to complete school. But I know after my form four, I am going to be a great person like Lucky Dube. And I will be known all over the world. Oh, you know, some people may think that this is just a joke. Now we had to monitor him. Now he told us that these people give me anything I want. And he said, if you like, wait after preps. Because he had been eating hot chapatis every evening after 10. So when we went with him, he told us, wait, these people are soon bringing me chapati. And where his box was on top of the bed, he just put the hand. We could not see anything there. But when the hand came back, he was having a hot chapati. Friends, this is real today. These people once they officially become the worshippers of the devil. They can do miracles. I saw one girl who was telling us that me I don't spend in school. Every evening those people will take me and the gate will open automatically and I go to Florence Hotel. I eat from there. After I'm tired, then I come back. And at dawn time, people, if a teacher is walking around, he will see somebody sitting on my chair. But that is not me. I want to tell you that the devil is becoming uh, modern as we are today. Now from the back, we are reading about the little girl and the Bible tells us that this girl had spirits in her and that when he saw Paul and Silas passing through the village the Bible notes that this lady would give money to the people who had kept 
her. Mumma wacho ni nyako ni nenyalo miyo jok mane osebedo ka rite pesa. People would come to her. Ji nenyalo biro ire. And she would tell them the fortune about them. To no nyiso gi gik mane di kuomgi. So she was like a witch. No chalo ja ayuwa ga. And they were using her to make money. Koro ji ne tiyo kode mondo los pesa. People would come from all walks. Ji ne wuok konde kuonde gi kuonde. To come and consult the spirits in this girl. Mondo gi wuoye gi tipo mane ni kuom nyako ni. And till that day. Nyaka udi chien. She was shouting after Paul and Silas. Mane koro go koko bang Paulo gi Silas. And the spirit was speaking through her. Kae to tipo ni ne wuoye koko kalo kukumi. Telling people that these are the men of God. Ni magi jo nye sai. They preach about the salvation. Gi wuoye kuwa muaruwa. Follow them. Logi. Now this was not the spirit of God. Mae ni ne oke enteko mar nye sai. It was an evil spirit. Ne enteko mar nye chie. And until Paul and Silas turned to them. Nyaka sama ne Paulo gi Sila olokore kuomgi and drove out that spirit. Mano riembo ja chiendni. It made the whole community to be worked up against them. Kendo no keto joma ne odak kanyo ma igi wang kodgi. And they really kind them. Kendo no chwadgi. Because of finishing their business. Nikech no tieko handgi. And they had to be taken to prison. Kendo no tergi e jela. The Bible is also talking to us. Muma wacha nwa. About that young man. Kwa mwoi ni. Who was living in the tombs. Mano dak eliet kariliete. Because the demon was with him. Nikech ja chiende ni kode. He could not live with the people. Neo konyal dak giji. Because of the evil spirits in him. Nikech ja chiende mane ne ye. He was cutting himself with stone. No nga dore gi kite. And living amongst the tombs of the dead. Kendo no dak mana kuma liete mani nitie. Until that. Day. He saw Jesus coming. And the Bible says he ran to him. And he knelt before him. And the spirits in him spoke. And then they asked Jesus. What do you have to do with us? Because our time has not reached. Jesus had to remove. Yesu nyaka and negol, command the demons and they entered into the flock of, of pigs that were there and they drove them into the water Ma, Matthew chapter 8 verse 27 Matthew 8 27 Matthew 8 27 he's talking about two demon possessed men and Jesus uh, delivered them. Kaito Yesu no warogi. Mary Magdalene. Mary Ma Nyan Magdala was possessed of seven demons. And then gijo chinde abirio. And it was driven from her. Kendo no gol kuomi. Now yesterday. Nyoro. We talked about this Canaanite woman. Ne wa uwe kuomi o maja Canaan. This is what led me to speak about this today. Ma egi mano ketai uwe wache wache nika uwe. The woman had a challenge in her house. Mama miyo ni neni gi chandru wa kdala ni eode. The daughter was possessed. Nyare ne nigi jo chiende. I want to tell you today. Adwa nyisika uono. If you have never experienced this in your house. Kapo kiromo ge watch ni e odi. Count yourself blessed. Kuandrino guedhi. But be careful. To bed motang. Because the devil is launching his attacks on the children of God. Nikech ja chien pango remond odonj kuom nyithin ya sai. And it knows a secret. Kendo ngeyo siri moro. That when I hold on to their children. Nika mako nyithin digi. And ruin them. Kaita ketho gi. Then I will automatically destroy their families. Kaito koro familia gorumo. That's why many children today. Mane mami ya nyithin do mangen sani. Are getting possessed in schools. Gido nje weche gie school. Now what I was finding out that the demon is against education. You will realize that when these children are taken out of school, it's like the level of, of the spirit goes down. The, the moment you want to take them to school, they reach the gate, they faint again. Now, this is why we are saying that Adventism is supporting education fully. Emo mio wawacho ni Adventism siro somo chutho. If you find somebody coming with some strange teachings ki yudo ngato mabiro gi puonyo mako magalagala. That remove your children from schools. Nigol nyithi idwe school. Go and teach them alone. Nithi puonyo gi kendi. Now which teacher is this who did all the degrees of all the subjects so that you can teach your child all the subjects. And even if you put them at home, who tells you that the devil cannot come to your home? I want to tell you, children of God, 
When we give our children Jesus, even when they go where the demon is, they will not be shaken. Hallelujah. So we must take our children to school. Let them go and meet with those demon possessed people. Let them show them Jesus. So that the demons will flee from there. We must take our children to school. I told you the other day. That Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. They were taken to Babylon. No Babylon. And the Babylonians were worshipping the devil. It is the devil. I had said the worship of the devil is, is the worshiping of other Baal uh, and other gods. So when they were taken there, they did not run away. They proved to those people that because we are worshiping the God of heaven, we are ten times intelligent. Now, if you go to the university where the worship of the devil is dominant, then score everything because you are studying. Pass all the subjects well. Get A in everything. Then you will not even need to preach a word. The students will turn to the God you are worshipping. And you pass without stealing exams. Now let me tell you because I have told you that the devil is attacking our families through the devil worship. How can we keep our children from demonic attack or recruitment from the devil worship? Number one, come and be baptized. Be Mondo Otisi. Let me repeat again. Wanuo. Come and be baptized be by immersion. Come and be baptized by immersion. I want this to be gotten rightly well and therefore please help me with a mic because this is very important for us. Anyone who wants to safeguard their children or even him or herself must be baptized by immersion. This is what John 3, 5 says. It says, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, A man, unless a man be born of water, and by the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Now let me tell you a story. There is this one girl who gave herself from devil worship to come and uh, join the faith of God. Now when a baptism was being now she was taken uh, near the water of baptism. But this girl who had been uh, possessed formerly could not get into the water. So the pastor is waiting for her in the water. She refused and started screaming. Then she said, I'm seeing three people in suits. And they are carrying a sword. They want to destroy me. That I should not go into the waters of baptism. Now everyone had to come to a standstill. A special prayer had to be offered. And after that prayer, the three people who were carrying the swords disappeared. And that is when the water had, the, the girl had to be put in waters of baptism. I want to tell you that when someone is being taken into the water of baptism, that person is getting into the grave with Jesus. And when she is brought up, she is a new body. It is now not that person living, but it is Jesus living in her. And she confessed that I have a new strength from the water. I can now not see anybody. And I am feeling free. I have been delivered. I am new again. 
anyen kendo. I want to tell you children of God. If we have to safeguard our families. We must bring rabwa. them to waters of baptism. Nyaka wakel gie pi. And after immersion. Tokose batisge. The power of Christ will be upon them. Teko mar Christo bro bedo kundi. Watch mararia. Take the holy communion. Kau chamsao. That is the body of Christ and his blood. Mano ringre Yesu kodrembe. Now there is this boy. Nitie woi moroka. This boy who was in another school. Mane nitie a school machia no. Something woke him up at night. Gimoro no chie wego tie no. And unconsciously he heard the spirit talking. Kai to winjo ka jo moko wuoyo. They were saying we want to take blood from them tonight. Ni wadu aka ore moko akuo ni to wu Corner there. Wachak gie corner cha. And that bomb was sleeping at the corner. Kai tu wui ni to nene inde corner. Then he had another voice saying. Kai tu wijo duol machielo kawacho. We don't want blood that is taking holy communion. O kwa duwa re mo macha musa. That one will deter us from doing our work. Mano bido tamo wata utamo watimo gimone ngo watimo. And that is how those spirits disappear. Kai tu kamano e kaka na gijigilai. There is power in taking the body and the blood of Christ. Kiti e teko e cha musa. Anytime we participate in taking holy communion. Samo. We are getting a new hedge around us. Why you do chill? My water was my dear. Our blood is cleansed. Rembwa iluoko. Our body is purified. Rembwa iluoko. And the devil cannot attack us easily. Kendo ya chill no knyal chopo mayo mayo. Come and participate in taking the holy communion. Be more the best. If you have children of age, kin gini tinda masero mo. After baptism, bang baptism. Ensure that they take the blood and the body of Jesus. Then take mo na sakasa gichamsa. John six fifty one. Yohana sura uchelwe sa The Bible says this is what Jesus told them. Mae gima ne Yesu wa wacha ne. I am the living bread. Anye kuon mar ngima. Which came down from heaven. Ano ai polo. If any man eat of this bread. Kanga to chamo mkate ni. He shall live forever. Obro dak manyaka chie. And the bread I will give is my flesh. So mkate mabiro chiwo en ringra. Friends we should participate in taking of the holy communion. Osie penya kawado bo chamsa. It is a safeguard against the wiles of the devil. And gima biro gengo wa kuwa mti teko marja chie. Now let me tell you something. We anyiswe watch moro. And number three. Watch mara day. If you want to safeguard your family. Kidu wa rito odi. Read the word of God. So much nya say. Any family that has the Bible. Mo uh, family mora, family mora mora man gi muma. And it is not just keeping the Bible at a corner. Toke na ina keto muma e kona moro. Read it. So me have fellowship in your family. Le murwe odu. The book of 1 Timothy 6:6 6 tells us this. Timotheo mokuongo sura uchielwe sa uchielwa choka ma. Now godliness with contentment is a great gain. Bedo kinge nya sae ka in gadieri en gima nigi nengo. It will teach your children. Obiro puenye nyithindi. To be contented. Mondo gibed gadieri. So that they don't just speak gifts from people. Mondo kiki kaka wa mechi kwa kuwa mchi. The word of God will train them. Watch nya sae biro keto gi. They will know that even if my parents give me 200 shillings for pocket money. Gibiro kaya yonyo nyuan nao miyamana siling miyario for pocket money. That is enough. Mano romo. I will not take it. Now recently I saw another girl from another school. And she was saying her deskmate had a lot of bangles and necklaces. No watch on inga magi bet god on igi bangli mangen kod necklaces. And because they were illegals in school. Niket ne ok gin gik midware school. The friend would open the locker. And she would really admire the color. Osiep, osiep, nene nene nyalo ya o lock aneto gigi ne ber ne ongi yoge kabisa. Until one day she was tempted to ask her to help her with one. Koro chieng mara chiel to not eme mo kwa yoni konya o konya gachiel. The moment she was given a bangle, samano mi e bangli. When she went to the dome at prep time, kano di edo kamagi nende goti yeno. The box was filled filled with shopping. Sanduge no pong gigi kumoko. The juice was there. Juice nenitie. Everything she needed. Gimora mora mano duaro. And the bangle, unfortunately. To bangle ne. She was saying marach. when you put it on, even the teachers cannot see it. Kata kirua. No watch on it. Kata kirua. Keto ju puenyo knyal nene. It is you who can admire it and see how nice it is. Ine mi nyalongi eto ine ne kako be. Read the word of God in your family. Some watch nya sae family. It will teach your children contentment. Obiro puenyo nyithindi mondo gibed mora mora. They will know however little it's enough. Gibro ngeyo ni katotin marom nade to romo. As long as the Lord is in it. Mana kanya sae ni tiere. Now the Bible, there is a songwriter who says. Ni tiere jandikuer moro mawacho. Read your Bible, pray every day. Pray every day. Pray every day. Read your Bible, pray every day. If you want to. If you want to grow, if you want to grow, read your Bible. 
out your Bible. Forget to pray. Forget to pray. Forget to pray. Neglect your Bible. Forget to pray if you want to shrink. If you want to shrink. If you want to shrink. Neglect your Bible. Forget to pray if you want to shrink. Hallelujah! You neglect your Bible every day you will shrink. And as you shrink in faith, the devil will get the chance. I want to urge everybody here that Christ defeated the devil on the cross. And therefore we have no reason to fear. We don't have anything to shrink. When the devil attacks your family, pick your Bible, pray, approach the cross, and in the name of Jesus, the devil will depart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to pray with somebody who is saying that today I want to give my life and come Sabbath I want the baptism by immersion and as if that is not enough I want to put my family in the hand of God so that when my children go to school when they find themselves amongst the devil worshippers that precious blood will cover them and it will break them safe if you are there Arise so that we may pray. Arise so that we may pray. Let us pray. Our loving Father in heaven, Lord, we want to thank you because you are a victorious God. Thank you for speaking to us this evening. We know the devil has designed schemes to finish our families by diverting our worship to the worship of him who is powerless. We want to declare today that if there is any family whose children have gotten into the worship of the devil, then in the name of Jesus you will deliver them today. Father, we want to pray that that precious blood will encompass and cover their children so that the devil will not find them. If there is anybody who has a feeling that the devil has infiltrated their lives, and has put certain spirits that are weakening them through your worship. Father, in the name of Jesus, deliver them today. We want to pray, God of glory, that you may cleanse our families and give us the strength to stand as strong families for eternity. May you speak to us. May you draw us closer to you. In the name of Jesus, I have prayed and believed. Amen. What do we say to the powerful teaching? Amen. We welcome Glorious for one item. Let us sing song 109 as day comes, stanza one and chorus. Marvelous grace, three sing. Marvelous grace of a loving Lord. Grace that exceeds the sin and the guilt Yonder on Calvary mount outpour There where the blood of the Lamb was spilled Grace, grace, God's grace Grace that will pardon and cleanse within. Grace, grace, God's grace. Grace that is greater than all our sin. Sin and despair like the sea with <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah. 
What do we say? Amen. Thank you. God is good. And all the time. God is good and that's nature. We thank the Lord for this moment. And I thank the Lord for those who have been praying for us. And for those who have been praying for this congregation. Like I said earlier, that this week we were going to handle very sensitive messages and those that are very heavy and I began by reading to us the constitution of our country it is expedient that we give you those references I also thank the Lord for the movings of his spirit. That the speaker who has just left through the guiding of the spirit of God has laid the foundation of what I intended we should look at today. And so I thank God. Kindly bow your head with me as we pray. Our Father and our God in heaven, the time has come for you to speak to your children. Remove from us everything that is of the flesh, for that belongs to us and is a mess. In your grace, dear Lord, may you impart to us that which is yours, that which is heavenly, that which is spiritual leading every one of us from me who shall speak, my brother who shall translate, and all who shall hear the messages coming from this point. For I am conscious of the fact that we stand between the living and the dead, and that based on what will come out of our mouth, a soul will be saved or lost. It is our intention it is our desire that all souls are saved. Help us, dear Lord, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, we studied yesterday that the woman of Revelation 17 has daughters. And we studied earlier from Ezekiel 16 that as is the mother, so is the daughter. And I am glad that right in this county 
is one of the established daughters of this system. Ni one in a county a Chilcom County ma system mar a nyi miyo ni nitie maber. One that exalts this woman called Mary. Kenda machel kumatingo nyingi miyo miluongo ni Mariani. What many of us do not know gima ngenywa okongeyo that even the title Ave Maria ni kata mana watch mailuongo ni Ave Maria is derived from here ni embe ene book mar katka zoom and we saw yesterday kinone waneno nyoro that based on the characteristics of that woman as portrayed here kalore ge ranyisi mar miyo ni kako nyise book mutingo no she is not mary of the book of matthew mark luke and john kendo ne wafwenyo ni oken maria manonyuolo yesu but there is something about this system to nitie wach moro e wi system ni that this system combined pagan religion neto system ni au rewo timbe magmudo with the heavenly titles neto gitimbe magpolo it baptized the pagan deities no batiso timbe magmudo with christian name ge komyo ge nying mar kristo and that is why mane momeyo when you get time ka if you do thuolo you can take your phone inyalo yudo ka simbi and then you see we live in a world where you don't have to go to usa physically to see what's in usa ngen wadake piny magisani okowinji the ikao thuolo ne the usa mondi ne gi matimore kuro giwangi Now you can take your phone at your free time. Inya lokao simbi and tuluni won. And then you go to your Google. Cast ipeng Google St Peter's Basilica. Ni ndik watch no ni St Peter's Basilica and you will find one of the portraits or 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 sculpture. Kindi biro yudo moro mopa which is identified as Peter the first bishop ma oyango a petro kaka bishop mokwongo then look at that image keenly ngikidono moskinone and then go through the same 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 google bange kachel kikalo kum google ni and look at the Greek gods Jupiter and Zeus. Idingi ni seche mar Grecia ma and Jupiter kachel kod Zeus. You will find it is the same thing. Ibirudo kai en gimara chel. Right at the center of St Peter's Square ni a a kunyala mar St Peter you will also see a very tall pila like a pole ibiro yuro moro mochwe mabor machalo pole right at the center of the wheel in st peter square it dala mar st peter square that thing is known as obelisk gino iluongo ni obelisk the same you will find at the capital of us white in us yembeke Kaibro yode kaene chuny boma maduong mar America ka Washington DC dala maduong mar Washington DC ko wi rangi marachar it is white en orachar right close to white house kendo obedo machiegni gi pinyruoth te akar edukota mar pinyruoth now looking at the design of Vatican City ka ingeo kaka oger da mar vatan and you look at the design ingeo kaka oger 
of Washington DC. Kako gerda la maduong mar Washington DC America. Physically there is a very close resemblance. Ni to kum neno kod wang gi inyalo poro gi machiegni ahinya kako gergi. Now those of you who also know our city Nairobi. Ah jogo mungeyo da ah boma ma Nairobi ma Kenya ka. One of the streets in Nairobi. Achiel kuma baya edala ma Nairobi. Where there is an image amanitie kidomoro of three mar akite adek I don't know whether they are soldiers or what but they are three O kange nigin jolweny tange nigin kido adek right in front of the is it the Indian bank kendo ketgi mbele bengi mar India It's one of the big banks in Nairobi Achiel kum bengi ni madongo mani dalama Nairobi those that the three that are identified as a monument of remembrance of world war ni gin gi kido moket kanyo kiwacho ni gin rapar mar lweny manotimore on this side of the road e e wangapaya gi are facing on the other side of the road directly opposite ni to ogimenyore an obelisk Gimenyore gi kido ma obelisk. That is in Nairobi. Mano bintie dalama Nairobi. Now, when you look at the base of that obelisk, ni toki ngio kama atiend obelisk ni, the sculpture is, this is for the memory of those who are victims of, is it World War II or World War I? Something of that sort. Na ibiro neno kondi kanyo ni ma mi parogo jogo mano oriwore lwen mar areo katamara di. If not World War One. Okay, no more. Now the question is. Pinjo enia. Why the common symbol? Ne angomio yogi ki. And close, just within the same proximity. Ne toke no machiegni gikama kido. You will find again the church we are talking. Ibiro yudo kanis. Now these are things people pass by along the streets. Magic, magic, ala, ala, apa ya. But they never fathom. Nito pachigi okbi mondo ge par malungu. They never fathom. Pachigi okbi mondo ge par malungu. And so today we want to look at a second aspect. Omi okawo no waduangi ok miga omara reyo. From the quote I read yesterday. Niko kalokum andeka mana somo nyoro. The book Great Controversy. Ah, book. 88 edition at uh, uh, edition Boru. page 588 paragraph 1 ni beach praboro gaboro paragraph mokwongo i repeat the first part of that paragraph anuoyo ka paragraph no mokwongo great controversy 88 edc 88 ah uh, uh, lweny maduong mar uh, uh, gc uh, praboro gaboro page 588 Kalatas mia bi or praboro gaboro paragraph 1 paragraph 1 through the two great eras ni kokal kuom weche ario madongo magwond immortality of the soul a dak manyaka chieng kuom chuny and sunday sacredness toge keto chieng Peel bedo maler. The devil will bring the whole world under his banner. Nito Satan biro tiyo gi weche ariyo gi kokelo ganda duto te e bwo lochne. And so that should bring should should bring something to your mind. Koro mano nyaka miwa wach more pachwa that Satan is serious about his business of deceiving. Nija sigu a oi kore kendo oka wachne mar miria And some of us are hooked. Nito jomoko kuomwa osemake obado in his snares unknowingly. Ni jomoko kuomwa osemoke obado ne kok gingeyo. And they are feeding from his table unknowingly. Kendo gichiemo kwa mesa ne kok gingeyo. And it is for that reason God has sent us to send a warning. Mane momio Jehova nyasaye oseorwa mondo wachusiem. Because in Ezekiel 
It is the work of the watchman. Ni en tich mar jo watchman. En tich mar jo rit mag dala Zion. It is the work of the watchman of uh, uh, Zion. Makagi neno kama sira biro. That when we, they foresee the evil coming. Togi gigo tuhum. That they blew the trumpet. Mondo at manya lore sore ore sore. Whoever uh, that uh, we will take refuge to take refuge. Toka ok gigo tum. But if they don't blow the trumpet. Toremo marjogo no donge wige. The blood of the innocent shall be upon them. Omi a chung kange na chunge kind jo mangi magi jo moto. And therefore I know I stand in between the living and the dead. Kendo gi moro kagi moro mwa puonjo eni ngato nyakaresre. And in everything we are teaching, it is for someone to be saved. I want to read from the catechism. Adwa somo ukmar catechism. Chapter 4. Sura marangwen. This is a, a commentary on the clause from what is called the Apostles' Creed. Mano en nya nonro kaluwore gi book mar Apostles Creed. I believe in Jesus Christ born of the Virgin Mary. That's a phrase from the Apostles Creed. Giwa choni aye kuom a Yesu Kristo mano nyuol gi Maria. Now This is what is recorded. Mane gi mondeke. The reference for what I'm going to read. Ah uh, kama ondikie gi madhi somoni. Is Compedium 98. And 98. This is what is written. The virginal conception of Jesus means that Jesus was conceived in the womb of the virgin. By the power of the Holy Spirit without the intervention of the man. Now that is biblical. A second phrase there is also biblical. He is the son of the heavenly father according to his divine nature. And the son of Mary according to his human nature. Now the first part of that is very biblical. But did Jesus call himself the son of Mary or the son of man? Or did Jesus ever address Mary in the Bible as mother or woman? Okay, mama, and mama translated from woman. Watch Mara The second thing. Now this is now more serious. Nima koro en gima winjingia henya. Listen to this. Koro winj watch ni. He is however. Ni en katakamano. Truly the son of God in both natures. Ni en nya nya wode nya sae e kidien kati o kenge a reogo. Now do you know what that means? Benge yo gima mano tiende. If. He is the son of God in his human nature and in his divine nature. Nika en wood nya sai kuom ringrok mar bedo nya sai ka chel kod ringrok mar dhano. That is what exalts the position of Mary to be a god. Mane e gima kelo a kata choro Maria mondo embo bed kipore gi nyasaye. Which is why this Mary is called the mother of God. Mae momi o ilungo Maria ni ni min nyasaye. Think you didn't get that. Let's confirm the claim. We wasom kendo ka kondike. Mary is full of grace. Ni Maria opong kodungwono. Just listen to that. 
Now in the Bible, who is full of grace? John chapter 1 verse 14. Yohana sura chiel wesa paka ngwen. John chapter 1 verse 14. Yohara, Yohana sura chiel wesa paka ngwen. Read with me. I'll read from my translation. And the word was made flesh. Watch And dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory. The glory as of the only begotten of the Father. Full of grace and truth. Full of grace and truth. Nowhere in the Bible is Mary identified as full of grace. I'm making this clear. So that any place you will see rosary with some sculptures and a portrait of some Mary. That is not Mary in the Bible. But an idol that was worshipped long before Mary, the mother of Jesus, was born. Now listen to this. The church encourages us to turn directly to Jesus in prayer. That some of us also choose to ask for prayers from our friends in heaven. And Mary, Maria, the saints, Jogo Mano Senindo Makare, our ancestors, Jog Querewa, is a good thing. And Gima Bear, provided we keep our focus on Jesus. Manaka to Makalu or any wakit Puang Wang Christo. Now, you see, the saddest part of this. Nito watch ma ateka hinya watch is that somebody from childhood has been taught to believe this lie. Ni ngato ai nyuol ne osepuonje mondo mi oyie gi Miriambo gi. And every day is very busy greeting a dead person. Kendo odichieng kodichieng en omosoma na jinga motho. Salam Maria. Umejane me umejane ema. Sisi wenye dhambi utuombe. A dead person. When Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 8 verse 19 to 20 Sura Boru West Apago Chico Nyakaprareo is very seriously concerned and is asking when they shall say unto you Ni wachone toka gibiru nyiso to seek of them that have familiar spirits Ni waman jogo machal giro mawanago that peep and matter Madom, Madom, should not a people seek unto their God from the living to the dead? Ni ji kik manya sachi ko akum jomoto, but to the living. Ni tojok ma gema. Now, what is this that the devil has coined here? Enango maja sigu opande yekanyo. Genesis. Today we are going to apply the one of the principles of Bible study, the principle of Genesis or Origins and the principle of precepts. Now, this is what is recorded. How was man created? Genesis chapter 2 verse 7. My translation reads, The Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. 
And man became a living soul. Madano nodoko chuny mangema. Did you get that? Now a simple mathematics. I quando matin. Dust of the ground. Niburu marlo. Plus breath of life. Kimedo ginge gimuchingema. Is equal to a living soul. Ni endano mangema. The dust without the breath is not living. Buru marlo koko ket muchingema eye token dano mangema. The breath of life without the dust is also not living much much ngema bende ka onge buru malo to embo kongema and that is why ecclesiastes to mane momio ecclesiastes chapter 12 sura paragareo begins by stating why people should seek the lord in their youth mano chako ko wacho ni gimomio ji nyaka manya sai kapod gitindo and then continues to describe the days of evil that is the years of aging kendo a odhi mbele ka yaro a igni mag chandro kata mag richo kada no ti and then at the conclusion this is how it describes death kendo kotieko to mai ka kuwe weche mag tho in verse 7 ewes aberio Then shall the dust return to the earth. Ni bu a lo nodo kumlo as it was. Mana kaka na en. And the spirit shall return unto God who gave it. Kendo a chuny nodo kum a ro nodo kum jawa nyasai manuchiwe. Now you see when you are told who gave it. Okay, in eko nyisi ni ngama nochiwe. It means what goes back is what was given. Tiende ni gima dok no e gima nochiwe. What is called spirit there is the breath of life. Gima iluongo ni ro kanyo en mana much ngima. It is not a living person. Ok en dhano mangima kata gima ngima. We go to another precept example. Ni wadi kendo aporo wach moro In Job chapter 27 verse 3 Book mar Ayub 27 Job chapter 27 Ayub 27 verse 3 Wes adik This is what my translation reads Mai gima mumba wacho All the while my breath is in me Ni mar podi angema kendo mutnya sai ni euma and the spirit of god is in my nostrils kendo mutnya sai ni euma so that the what is called spirit there is not a living entity gimiluongo ni much nya sai kanyo ok en gino moro mangima but it is what combined with the dust leads to a living thing. To en manamuya mori ugi lo makelo gimoro bedo gimangema. Now there is no difference at that level between man and animals. Kendo onge pogruok e okang no kind le manie theme to gi dhano. Ecclesiastes chapter 3. Ecclesiastes sura adik. Ecclesiastes chapter 3. Ecclesiastes sura adik. I want us to begin reading from verse 18. Adwan wachak somo kwa kumwesa pargaburu. All through to verse 21. Nyaka wes praroga chiel. And I said in my heart concerning the estate of the sons of men. Na wacho echunya ni ma otimore ni kech ya wotji. That God might manifest them. Mondo nyasae otemgi that they might see that they themselves are beasts. Gin bende ginge kagichal gimbe ginge kagichal gijamni. For that which befalleth the sons of men befalleth beasts. Ni mar gimo motimore ni yawotji otimore kum jamni bende. Otimore. Otimore kum jamni bende. Gima timore kum joka dhano. Weva te uh, happens uh, affects the uh, the uh, Otimore machalre kum joka le. It also takes place the same way for the beast. As one dieth Verse 19. Wes aparago chiko ni mar gi 
Motimore ni ya wotji Otimore uh. kum jamni bendi As one death Watch a chiel e motimore nigi Kaka a chiel o tho So dieth the other E kaka machielo o tho Yeah they have all one breath E muchgi en a chiel So that a man hath no preeminence above a beast Dano oklo gi okologi ber jamni and then in verse 20 we are told that all go unto one place duto gidi kanyachiel all are dust and unto dust they return du giduto be gia e buchlo mi giduto gilokore buchlo kendo you see the same way ngeyo ni e yo machielo somebody can slaughter a cow and eat Ngato nyalo nego dhiang mocham and cook and eat motedi mocham is the same way e kaka a hyena can kill a human being and eat kakundie bende nyalo nego dhano macham there is no difference onge pogruok they all have one breath gi duto gin gi muya achiel they all go to one place gi duto gi dhi kamora achiel Since when did you hear a cow sending dreams the way it was killed? In nyaka karango mise winjo ni dhiang oro lek kaka nonege. Now what was the first deception of the devil to man? And wound mane mano kwongo mane satano tiyogo ne dhano. Let us look at what God commanded. We wane gimanya kaka nya gimanya sai no chiko. And what the devil said. To gigima ya sigu satan no wacho. Genesis chapter 2 verse 16. Chakrok sura reo wes aparga uchiel. Through to 17. Nyaka aparga berio. This is what God said. Mai gimanya sai no wacho. And the Lord God commanded the man saying Of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil Thou shalt not eat of it For in the day thou eatest thereof Thou shalt surely die. Tho, to ini tho. God said the day you eat, you will surely die. Sai wacho ni di chieng mane chami ulemo ni tho. Now you see, Corona. Why didn't God not just say you will die? Ango mi nya sai no ko wacho ni ibiro mana tho. Why add the word surely? Ango mi no medo wach ni adiera ibiro tho. God was simply saying Nyasai ne wacho kama that upon transgression ni kaupo ni dhano olware richo the certainty of his death was sure ni to adiera marthone ni kare now what did the devil say koro ja chien to dugo wacha ngo chapter 3 usura mara dik verse 1 tells us that now the serpent was more subtle ni wesa chiel nyiso wani tuol koro ne riek moloyo More than every beast of the field which the Lord God had created and made. Now look at what Eve tells the serpent. In verse 3. Eve tells the serpent that God said this one we should not eat the, or touch that when we eat it we shall die. Verse 4. And the serpent said unto the woman Mithul no wacho ni dako ye shall not surely die Ok unu tho ngang Now God said you shall surely die Nyasai no wacho na diera ubiro tho The devil leaves the words of God and only adds not Ni ya sigu we weche mag nyasai go kaka en tok medo mana wach moro ni ok And that is what is called deception To mane gi miluoro ni wound Deception is the most dangerous weapon of the devil. Wound e gima rachie moloyo meja sigutiyogo because he picks that which is God's. Nikech okao watch my marnya sai then he inserts or deletes one. Ni tok omedo mare achiel kata orucha achiel marnya sai then he leaves the rest like that. Kasto we mudong mudong kamano. Now 
Like I said at the onset. Manakaka na wacho kwa chako. The first war. Ni luen mokwongo. That Satan will always fight since that time he said this. Manja sigu birogoyo a chakruok nyaka na wache wache ni. Is to try and prove that people don't die. Any man of me, Oketji, Onge, Niji, Okfa, and that is why. To mane mami yo. If he fails to convince men that the dead are not dead. Ni koponi otame keto dano mano mi ubedi ginge yo. Niji amato kofa adiera. Then he permits that they believe they are dead, but alive in another form. Ni to oye mondo migi wachi ni erogi tho to podi gingima e okang moro. Now, there is something that is taught here. Ma ni tiegi mi puenjo ka. That when somebody dies. Ni kangato tho. There are only three places to go. Kalu oregi buk motingo no. Ni kangato tho to ni tiegi mana kundi ya dek magede ye. Place one. Kamokuongo is a heaven direct. Nigi diye polo chut. Place two, kamara reyo is hell direct. Nigi diye match, musi chut. Place three, kamara de is a place called purgatory. En kamoro miluongo ni purgatory. This is somebody who was not fit for heaven. Ma en ngat ngat madi kanya ngat moro ma bende no koromo gidiye polo. But again, is not so much qualified for hell. Nito bende eni diere kanya koromo regi match direct. So this person is taken to burn a little somewhere. Koro ngani itero kamoro mo 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 wang matin. And then, kasto bange is people who are still alive. Anyonde ma podingi ma pinka. Can go and pay something called indulgence. Ni ginyalo di mundo migi chudu chudu moro. Indulgencia. And then the priest can offer a prayer to deliver that soul from purgatory to heaven. Ni to padri nyalo chiwo lemo. Mondo miogol ngacha e purgatory kadi e polo. To mean that the power to go to heaven. Tiende ni teko mardi e polo. Is not Christ. Ok en Christo. But it belongs to the priest or the bishop or the pope. Ni en teko manegidano mar bishop kata papa. Now look at how dangerous that deception is. Ine kaka wundu no wundu maracha henya. Because it opens room for you to sin. Ni kech omi thuolo marti moricho. So that when you die. Ni kech moro koro kitho. You had been given license to sin knowing people can pay money and pray it's done for you to go to heaven. No se miyo tiko marti moricho ni kech ingeo ni kitho tibiru lemi ni kocholu pesa. Tia e pugratori kidi e polo. Which is actually robbing a corpse. Ma enadiri en mayo nga motho. Ma no kuwa lo maiti. Ere kaka ngat mose tho. Inya lo lemne. How can you pray for someone who is already dead? We wapenju wes. Let us ask the Bible. We wapenju wes. Let us ask the Bible. Ezekiel. The book of Ezekiel. Chapter 18. Sura apar gaboru. Verse 4 and verse 20. Wesa ngwen kod prareo. Ezekiel chapter 18. Ezekiel sura apar gaboru. Verse 4 and verse 20. Wesa ngwen kod wes prareo. My translation in verse 4 reads. Sumuna e wes ngwen wacho kama. Behold all souls are mine. Neuru chunji duto ginmaga As the soul of the father So also the soul of the son is mine Kaka chunyu won Nyathi en mara E kaka chunyu wode bende ubit The soul that sinneth It shall die Ngama Ngama Maketho enotho The soul that sinneth Ngama Maketho It shall die Enotho For your information What description does God give of what was destroyed by the flood? Let us go to the book of Genesis. 
This is why it is a crime in that system for you to read the Bible on your own. My mommy, okdware system no ni som biblio skendi uon. So that you'll never know where you are deceived. Mondo mi ibed ni kia kami uon digo. Genesis chapter 7. Ah, chakrok sura berio. Verse 21 to 22. Wes proroga chiel nyaka proroga reo. My translation reads. Somon mumba wa chokama. And all flesh died that moved upon the earth. Gik mangi maduto manenie pinyi no tho. Both of fowl and of cattle and of beast. Magwin, gijamini, gijigibuya, gigik mamol duto. And of every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth and every man. Gigik mamol duto, mamol epiny, kordano duto bende. All in whose nostrils was the breath of life. Duto mamuchingima nenie umgi. Of all that was in the dry land died. Duto manenie elo motuo. Notho. Just look at that. All died. Duto notho. The only ones who did not die. Maneoko tho. Were those who were in the ark. Manajok manenie e ark marinyasai. One day. Ching moro. Abraham was going to Egypt. Abraham nedi Egypt, Misri. And he knew very well that he married a very beautiful wife. And it was his, his desire that he should lie that this wife is his sister. Ni no gombo ne mondo mi ochiu mi riambu ni da chiegeni ne nyamin ge. Of course, Sarah was his sister. Tadiri bende Sarah ne nyamin. But, to, he was also his wife. To ne chiege. And what he was supposed to say is, she is my wife. No winjo watch ni en chiega bende. Now listen to what Abraham himself says. This is Genesis. Koro winjigima Abraham uon wache buk mar chakruok. When, when he wants to go to Egypt. Ka odwadi misri. Genesis chapter 12. Uh, chakro kapargareyo. Uh. Genesis chapter 12. Chakro kusura pargareyo. Now verse 11. West ni aparga chiel. To 12. Nyaka pargareyo. He says. No wacho. And it shall come to pass Mi no bedo, when he came near to enter into Egypt ka no kayo gimisri, that he said ko gik donjo no wacho ni, and to Sarai his wife. No wacho ni chiege Sarai niya. Behold I know thou art a fair woman ne koro in da koma bear, to marneno, look upon. Marneno. Therefore it shall come to pass when the Egyptians shall see thee that they shall say this is his wife and they will kill me. And they will kill me. But they will save thee alive. Say, I pray thee, verse 13. Thou art my sister. That it may be well with me for thy sake. And my soul shall live because of thee. And my soul. And ringra shall live because of thee. In other words, what, is, the, what is Abraham saying? The principle of opposites. If you say you are my wife, my soul shall die because of thee. Now, this is what is recorded. Let us ask some. Let us ask the psalmist concerning the dead. Psalm 146 verse 3 to 4. Psalm 146 verse 3 to 4. This is what is recorded. 
Put not your trust in princes. Kikugen jo madongo. Nor in any ma, nor in the son of man. Katadano moro. In whom there is no help. Maonge gi gik ma digi koni digi His breath goeth forth. Muche orumo. He returneth to his earth. Gike elo. In that very day his thoughts perish. Chieng nogo no gip. In that very day his thoughts perish. So Koro. What happens that a spirit purporting to be the departed? What happens that something like that? comes back to the house to talk to the living. Ere kaka timore ni gima chalo kamano duogo e ot mawuo gi ngama ngima. Job 7 7 to 10. Ayubu abere abere nyaka par. Job 7 7 to 10. Ayubu abere abere nyaka apar. I will now read a specific verse. Kurado asomo wes moro. Verse 9 and verse 10. Verse 8, verse 8 and verse 10. When somebody dies, this is what Job says. The eye of him that hath seen me shall see me no more. Thine eyes are upon me and I am not. Verse 10. He shall return no more to his house. Neither shall his place know him anymore. To conclude. Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 5 and 6. Ecclesiastes sura ochiko. Verse 5 and 6. For the living know that they shall die. But the dead know nothing. Even the memory of them is lost. They have no share in anything done under the sun. So that in the Bible, when somebody dies, there is no part of him that is left alive. And so, because the devil is a spirit. And he fell down here with angels, a third of them. These are the spirits of devils that perform miracles. And take the form of people who have died. To communicate with those who are living. And that is dangerous. There is no probation after death. And that's why Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 10 reminds us. When you are still alive. Whatsoever thy hand findeth to do. Do it with all thy might. For there is no work. Nikech onge tich moro. Nor knowledge. Kata parie komoro. Nor device. Kata manarie komoro. In the grave whithersoever thou goest. Man manie bur kama iki thought iki. There is no probation in death. Onge ngwono kartho. No prayer can be offered for a dead person to change the status of the dead. Onge lemo minyal lamne nejalno mose tho malok kitingi mane. And so no dead person can be consulted concerning heaven. Because Jesus said. The day of resurrecting the dead. He himself. He will call them back to life. And you see I wonder. If people when they die they go direct to heaven. 
But why then did Jesus promise to come back and raise him? Think about these things. There is no probation in death. In death. We shall look at controversial biblical verses tomorrow. May God bless us as we depart from the wine of Babylon that she has made all nations drink. Let us rise up that we may pray. Our Father, our King, and our Master, we want to say thank you, Father Lord, for the program that has just come to an end. The Creator of heaven, you are blowing the trumpet about the status, the state of the dead, because you have said it is one of the deceptions that the devil shall use to deceive many. We are privileged to listen and get your word this evening. Father, may you give us the strength to put it in, in doing, to strengthen our faith to be able to stand against this deception. Because if you are not careful, even the very elect shall be deceived. If there is your child who did not know of this information, of your word, God and your spirit is convicting him or her to make a decision to come unto you. The creator of heaven, we are calling upon your name. Call them. Call all of us. Prepare us for your coming. Is my humble prayer in Jesus' holy name. Amen. What do we say for that teaching? Let us sing song 80 Kiswahili as we welcome Glorious for one item. Tu pe moto tracing Tu pe moto wa u hai Uli o wa kaza mani Uli o wa ongo za ju Wa ze e wa ta ka tipu Wa pi roho ili oka moyoni mwa Ibrahimu Kadhalika ndugu Paulo aliweze shwa na moto Neema ya koha ina nguvu siku hizi sawa Kama wakati wa msa ayubu na wa elia Zamani za kale buwana kumbuka na kwa rehema Roho zetu kwa roho mta Kaza mwendo nifike pale makao ya mungu penye rahanda Amari ya 
kuhamishwa na uli Mwengu na tamani kuwa miongoni Mwa wale walo esami wa kwenye fungu Na wataka uingi ya pale Yale macho haya jaona wala siki yo kusiki ya ya meandaliwa Ila kwa uwezo wangu sita itimiza lengo hilo nitangu Shahaya ya mateso na machungu ya menichosha Maana kila kuchao ni maumbolezo na bilio E wana uture hemu Kama sahote ya mboko taiti ya mbubu nitazede kuku eta Macho ya koya orufa ya nitazame mkono wako wenye mbubu ni inuwe Linda loriti ya mbubu Mamba mboko zi ya soko nene fia msana badi ni ya sabewe hake Nika ita mwana wa mungu kwa garama ya damo ya ko Zeta chaka kope na veta vya imani Niwe mshindi wa dhambi Maisha haya ya mateso na machungu ya menichosha Maana kila kuchao ni maumbolezo na video E wana uture hemu Kama sahote ya koko taiti ya kubu nitazede koko eta Pacha ya koya orufa ya nitazame mkono wako wenye kubu ni inuwe Linda loriti ya kubu kwa mba mboko zi ya soko nene fia msana Panini ya sabewe hake Nika ita mwana wa mongo kwa garama ya damo ya ko Zeta chaka kope na veta vya imani Niwe mshidi Shahaya ya mateso 
Yesu na machungu yamenichosha maana kila kuchao ni maombolezo na bilio e bwana uturehemu kama sote yako utaiti yako nitazede koko eta macho yako ya huruma yanitazame mkono wako wenye nguvu ni iduwe ninda loni tia mungu kwamba mkozi yesu ulende pia msala badilie sabiwe hake nikaita mwana wa mungu Asante sana waimbaji kwa wimbo mzuri ambao mmeimba. Tunachukua nafasi hii njema tena jioni ya leo kwa kumkaribisha mnenaji wa tatu ambaye atatu, uh, atatupa neno la Bwana na nimejua sisi sote tumejitayarisha uh, kupata neno hili. Wacha nimkaribishe ili apate nafasi ya kunena nasi ninawahakika ya kwamba mtumishi sisi sote tunamfahamu na kwa wale ambao wamekuja leo tumewaalika uh, mtumishi wetu anaitwa Pastor Jackson Bet kila mmoja amealikwa wacha tupate kusimama ili tupate nafasi ya kuomba Our Father who lives above in heaven It is your time to speak to our hearts. It is your time to speak to our soul. The creator of heaven as you speak through your man servant. As you speak to our hearts, give us your will to accept your word and to make decision to come unto you. Thank you for your children who are even listening from home. God, we want to ask you, may you also bless them wherever they are. Touch their lives as you touch our lives this evening. It's my humble prayer in Jesus' holy name. Amen. Nick, Ebu, Kuja Kidogo. Nawasalimu kwa jina la Yesu hamjambo. Oimore uru. Oimore ahenya. Oimore kende. Oimore ahenya. Asante sana. Ero kama na ahenya. Tunataka kumshukuru Mungu tena kwa sababu ya upendo wake. Wadu wako nje hapa nyasairo kama nuni kicherane. Tunamshukuru Mungu anayetupenda. Kindo wako nero nyasairo kama no mohero wa. Tunamshukuru Mungu anayetulinda. Kindo wako nero nyasairo kama no musibiru karito wa. Tunamshukuru Mungu aliyetuumba sisi. Kindo wako nero nyasairo kama no manuchwe wa. Okijua ya kwamba sisi ni watu wa Mungu. Kingi kwa ngeyo ni wanyi tinyasai. Yeye ndiye aliyetuumba ene manuchwe wa yeye ndiye anayetutunza ene murito wa wapenzi tunapenda kumshukuru Mungu huu wetu sana yo hera wa hero goyo neje wa nyasairo kamano nataka kumshukuru mnenaji wangu wa kwanza adwa na goero kamano neje huyo manotelo mokuongo ambaye ametuchukua sana kutueleza juu ya maisha ya familia mao sebedo kaporno watch ahenye kitingima mar jo ot na kaseme ya kwamba tunajenga familia iliyo na ngufu wa milele kindo wacho ni wagero ot motegno manyaka chieng familia muhimu ama familia yenye ngufu wagero ot maniginengo kendo motegno ambao wanasimama mpaka mwisho wa dayari mabiro chungnya kagiko 
Asante sana mwenenaji. Ero kama noje uweo. Siwezi kusahau kushukuru mwenenaji wa pili. Wiyo kinyalu wil moka go neje uweo marareo ero kama no. Ambaye amesema maneno makubwa tena. Mabendo wacho weche madongo kaa henya. Maneno haya ndugu zangu. Weche giyo siepena. Maneno ya unabi. Weche magkoro. Maneno ambayo shetani hataki tujue. Weche majasi gusatano kuduanu wange. Ni lazima ya weze kufunuliwa. Nyaka koro ya arti andegi. Hili watu wa mungu wa ujue wa ujue ukweli Mwanda nyithi nyasaye unge ya diera Na wakijua ukweli Kiluka ginge ya diera Ukweli utawaweka huru Hadiera na ubiro keto githuolo Na matakuwa huru kweli kweli Kendo gibiro bero thuola diera Heri wewe Hini Ambaye unasikia Hini miwinjo Heri wewe In miwinjo Ambaye unamasikio na umesikia Maini giiti kendise winjo Uwa musi ni yako En ngado watch kurumari Na ingekua vema Kendodo bedo gimaber Wokiamua kufuata ukweli Ki ngado watch mondo meilu gimaber Asante sana mwenenaji Ero kamano je uweo Asante sana wanenaji wenzani Ero kamano je uweo wete na Wana na wabariki Nyasai mondo guedhu Wakati huu Agisechege Tunataka kuangalia kwa anguka kwa adamu Wadu wangeo kwa remo manu chuer Na musama kutoka kwa mungu Toge ngono maku mjewa nyasahe Ebu tuombe kabla tujaan Wale mkapo kwa chako Baba yetu lia mbinguni Tuongoze tunapo soma maandiko haya matakatifu Utupatie kuelewa Na utusaidie kufanya uamusi unaofaa katika jina la Yesu aliye mwokozi wetu. Amen. Amen. Ukisoma katika kitabu cha mwanzo. Kae somo kwa ebook mar chakro. Ukiangalia katika kitabu cha mwanzo tatu. King ebook mar chakro sura de. Kitabu cha mwanzo tatu inasungumzia hadithi ya chinzi dhambi ilivyoingia katika dunia. Chakro sura de kuyo kumsigana kaka richo no donjo. Baada ya kitabu hicho cha mwanzo kusungumzia uumbaji. Ni banka a uh, sura mokwongo usiwiu kumchwech. Ikaja ikifika me, mlango wa mlango wa tatu Nitokogike maradek inasungumzia chinzi Adam alivyoanguka katika dhambi. Ni uwiu kum kaka Adam no lware richo. Aikaeleza chinzi e, chinzi shetani kupitia kwa nyoka alipo sungumuza na Adam kendo nyiso kaka satan koka lukumthul no uweo gikod Adam nataka tuweze kusoma pamoja nao nado anuwa somu kanyakla tatu mistari wa sita ebu soma ade kwesa uchi elu wacho tokadako no neno kayadno neber marchiemo kendo no mio no mio wangi no mio wangi mor kendo kayadno igombe mondo idok mariek Shetani alipo sungumuza na awa. Nika satan nuguyo kod awa. Aka muongoza. Nito notere. Mbaka akala tunda. Akala matunda ya muti ambao mungu alikuwa amewakataza. Notere mo chamo ya dole mo. Mane nyasayo dagi. Yeye alipo kula. Nito enka no se chame. Aka ona ni nzuri. No neno ni ber. Ame kula. No se chame. Aka mpelekea na mume wake. Motero nebele chuore. Mbae walikuwa pamoja. Mane gingo kanyakla. Yeye na. Akala Enbendo chame Wote waga kula tunda Mbalo walikuwa wame katazwa Kiduto negi chamu lemo Manose kwerge Woki angalia hapa kidogo Nito kingio kama ten Unakute ya kwamba Shetani alisungumuza na muke Ineno ni satan Nuhuwe ugidako Shetani alisungumuza na awa Ni satan Nuhuwe ukod awa Maandiko hayo nyeshi ya kwamba Nito ndiko tok nyisni Walikuwa pamoja Kama huyu alikuwa mba Negi ni kanyakla kata chielni ni maburu Laki kini unaweza kusema niti nyalo wacho Adam ni Adam alikuwa kando neni maboru matin ndiyo sababu alipelekea watunda emu miu no terni ulemu hii ma tonaweza kuchifunza kitu kimoja wanyalo punjo regi moro mokuongo wakati mume na muke wanapo achana samadi chuo kodidako kupogore alafu mmoja anasikiliza maneno ya mtu wa tatu tongata chelo kauthulo maru winjo watch marajal marade akiwa na masungumuzo kando kaengi uwe morobate na muke wake togichiege ama na mume wake katagichuore niraisi sana kuingia katika dhana engi manyalo rea 
hinya donje richo ni rahisi sana kuweza kujaribiwa na kuanguka katika dhambi en gima yot mondo mite mimi lware richo hivyo ni vizuri kila wakati maana en gima ber kumpile wewe na mke wako muwe pamoja in god mean odi ubedi kanyakla wewe na mume wako muwe pamoja in kachel kod chori ubedi kanyakla na kila wakati nitoke ne seche duto weze kuaminiana ubedi ka ugeno ru na kwa njia hiyo kende yorno mnaweza kushinda majaribu ambayo shetani analeta mara nyingi sana nyumbani unyaloloyo tema ja sigu satan kelo madi di mangenye udi Ukisoma katika mstari wa 11. Kwa some west mara paragachiel. Unasikia maneno haya ambao Mungu sasa. Tiwi njogi makoro nyasaye wacho. Anakuja kumuuliza Adam. Upenjo Adam. Baada ya yeye kutembea pale. Banka usewuthe pwedo cha. Wakati wa jioni. Karagodhi ambo. Akaja kuwatembelea. No biro mondo mi uwuth olimgi. Adam na Awa. Adam kod Awa. Waniposikia Mungu akitembea pale kusanini. Nji injo kanya sae lemu uwoto e, 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 den wakati ficha negi pondo mungu waka waita nyasaye nulu wangogi alafu waka enda kusungumuza na wawo kastu mundo dhiu uwo kodi yegu soma nami katika mstari wa kumina moja na kumina mbili we wasome wesa paraga chiel ga paraga rio wacho inasema hivi kendo no wacho nga mano wacho nga mano wacho ni ni induk isecha moyad chakoso mana kwero hi ni kik icham kendo di chuo no wacho dako mane mea mondo bedi koda en emo mea olembi yadhno mina chamo nani alie kwambia ya kwamba uji jee umakula wewe matunda ya muti nilio kuagiza usile adama kasema uyo mwana muke ulie nipa a Uliye nipa awe pamoja nami ndiye aliye nipa matunda ya mti nikala Swali lime Mungu amemuuliza swali Adamu Nyasaye upenja Adam penju Akimuuliza toko penje nani alikwambia we uji Ngama no nyisi ni induk je umekula tunda la mti ambalo nilikukataza Adieri se chamo lemo mana se kwero hi Badala ya Adam kusema ndiyo Munda Adamu ye kwa wacho ni e Badala ya Adam kusema ndiyo Karo mundo mi Adamu wacho ni e Aka sema huyu mwana muke ulie nipatia Wacho ni mana miyo mani miya ni Nye ame nipatia na nimekula Ene moseme ya keno machamo Neno hili la kuamisha kosa kwa mwingine Wach marchoro cha ketho Nengat machielo Ilianza katika shamba la edeni mbaka leo No chako repu dhumare edeni nyaka kwa uono mtu waki ulizwa mbona umefanya hii natoko penji ni tangomi timo ma hawezi kusema mimi ni mefanya okobi wacho ni ya ni masati ime bali atatoa sababu ni tobiro ugolu gimomi ataweza kumulaumu wengine obiro bedo manako koso wangat machielo ni metenda hii kwa sababu ya huyo atimo ma ni kechi ngati ni mefanya hile kwa sababu ya hii aseti momacha ni kechi wachini adam alimulaumu muke wake adam no oketo wache wichi Akisema yeye ndia alileta Kwa wacho ni ene manokele Mimi si hukula Ano kachame Si kula bure Ano kachame nono Yeye huyu ambaye ulinipatia tukae pamoja nae Ene mjal manimia mundo miwadago kanyakla Yeye ndia amenileteya Ene musikilo na Unahona vile Adam anamisha makosa Dungine no kaka Adam chururicho musetimo Mbaka leo Nyaka kawono Watu hawakubali kosa lao Ji okie richo magetimo Mutu hawezi kukula kukubali wasi wazi ngato okinyali ye ayanga na kusema ndiyo mimi ni metena mo wachini ane maseti me aa aa wana 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 amisha tambi kila wakati ichoro richo pile kapile ebu fikiria koro parane kama adam angesema ndiyo kadam de wachini ee na kuomba musamaa kwa mungu kasto kwa ngonu kumja wanya sae inge fana naji iparo na ngoma dotimore inge kuwa na muna gani ipani ndobe do nade kama adam ange kuwa muja siri kadam dobe do jachir na seme ndiyo mungu mo wacho na dire nya sae inge kukosea aser kethoni tunge angeweza kusamehewa do wene richone na dambi hainge kuja 
kendo richo ok donjo e piny wewe nawe ndugu yangu to in bende wadwa wewe nawe mwana in bende nyathina uwe mujasiri bed ngama nigi chir ukifanya kosa kitimo gimarach ukimkosea mama kikos kitimo marach ne mama baba kikoso ne baba uwe mujasiri kusema nisamehi bed ngama ja chir kikwa ngono no ngoni mujasiri kusema ndio mimi nimetenda bed ja chir kiwacho na diera setimo na kwa unyenyekevu kendo kwa mhorwok omba msamaha ni kwa ngono na wewe utasamehe to hii ni biro weni katika kitabu cha warumi 5 mstari wa 12 mukmarje rumi ya beach wesa paragario inatueleza mambo hapa nyiso aweche bokoka baada ya adam kuanguka katika dhambi ni bang adam kosel wa richo na yeye hakubali mara moja nito eno kuyenya dichiel basi wakatolewa katika shamba la katika bustani la eden omio no gol gi pudo mare dena oko wakatolewa kasto no gol gi oko enda kuishi duniani nito negedi mondo gedake pin biblia nasema hivi katika kitabu cha Warumi. Abu mama waache bukmar Jerumi ya beach wesa pargareo. Katika Biblia eh, Warumi 5 mstari wa 12 twasoma. Jerumi ya beach pargareo wacho kama. Nalo linasema hivi. Kaka richo no biro e piny kum ngat achiel. Kendo tho no biro e piny kum richo. Kama no bende tho no biro ni jiduto. Nike jiduto ne otimo richo. Kwa hiyo kama kwa mtu mmoja dhambi iliingia ulimwenguni na kwa dhambi hiyo mauti na hiyo mauti ikawafikia watu wote kwa sababu ya dhambi kwa sababu wote wamefanya dhambi Unasikia sasa Paulo anasema ya kwamba wote wamefanya dhambi. Iwinjo ka Paulo wacho ni jidu uto setimoricho. Na ni dhambi ya mtu mmoja ambaye aliitwa Adam. Kendo mana en richo ko kalu kumngata chiel mnyu wa Adam. Adam aliposaa watoto yake. Adam kana nyuolo nyithinde. Wakasaa watoto walio na dhambi. No nyugi nyuolo nyithindo manon ni giricho. Na, na hivyo dhambi ikatabaka. Omio richo no kere. Ikashika watu wote. Omako ngata ngata. Ele shika wajaluo wote. No mako joluo duto. Ye kashika wa kisia waku baki. Mako jo kisiche duto. Hata Kenya mzima haikusalia. Kendo Kenya duto beok nodong chien. Na wasungu ambao walikuja hapa kwetu wakitumia waki ndege hmm. hawakukosekana. Kendo nyaka wasunge beok notony mabiro dala wakage ndege. Wote wale wale wote ni wenye dhambi. Giji duto ginjo richo. Wote ni wenye dhambi. Giji duto ginjo richo. Walio weupe ni wenye dhambi wote. Yok. Jo wasunge duto jiginjo richo Weuzi wote ni wenye dhambi Jo maro tenge bende ginjo richo Walio ya kimika wote ni wenye dhambi Jo mao somo bende ginjo richo Ora anaitu wa manadamu Sa teka teka nilu ungini dano Wote wakapatikana na dhambi ndugu zangu Giduto nege yudo gire giricho siepena kwa sababu ya mtu mmoja nikech ngata chiel na kwa sababu hiyo tikech mano wote wanakufa kwa sababu ya dhambi Jiduto te tho nikech richo Najua ngeyo nataka kuarudisha nyuma kidogo Adwa na dogu adogu kuchien mateni Nataka kuambia a very short story Adwa na nyiso sigana mateni Juu ya kuomba msamaha Kumchi kwa yongono Baba mmoja uoro moro alikuwa anaishi na majirani zake No dark gijo jirende ne na majirani wakawa na na na, 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 na mtoto ambaye jina lake linafanana na yake kindo jirende gi ne nginying ne nginya thima ne nginying machal ginyinge walikuwa wanaitwa obadia ni lungo gine obadia huyu ni obadia na yule ni obadia uoro ni lungo no obadia nya thindi jirande cha bilungo no obadia obadia ya nyumba ingine to obadia mara ot machielo walif alifanya makosa not mu makosa akapiga ta ya jirani yake togoyo taya mar jirande ikapasuka motore sasa wenye nyumba walipofika koro wego ot kanu chopo wakauliza nani amefanya hii togipenjo nito ngaoto yota wakasema ni obadia togiwacha no badia basi baba ya obadia to, akaitwa uono badia uluongi na huyu ni obadia mwingine si yule aliyepiga ta nito mato badia machielo muluongi okman mane oketo ta baba akaelezwa uoro nyisi baba akasikia uoro winjogi ite 
yule obadia wa nyumba hile nito badia mae ot machelo cha aka angalia baba yake toneno unge uwo nge aki sungumuzi wa na jirani kiwe uko kijirani aka ona aka ona baba aki sikia sana tonge uka uwo nge uchiko iti ya hina na aka ona baba aki itikia na kukubali kenona eno uka uwo nge nde kuwe kai yege wachini basi alipo kuja kano uduwe ot aka shika huyu omako uwode mabadia aka mchapa no chwade uwode ni aka mchapa no chwade uwode ni vizuri sana maber bila kumuliza chochote kao nge gima no penje we kwa sababu ame 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 amue ya kwamba huyu ndiye alipiga taya jirani ni kech no senga do watch ni mae mano keto taya mari jirani mtoto akalia sana nyatini no yuak aka mpiga ogoe aka mfuruta inje uluo ugole oko akiendelea kumuchapa kaogoe sasa yule alipoona baba yule anapiga mtoto kane ngacha oneno kakuru uro ni chwado nyatine aka kimbia oringo aka kuja aka muambia si huyu obiru kone ni okma ni yule mwingine en nyatima chelo cha si obadia huyu oko badia mawudi ni baba aka muacha Urowe. Siku hiyo ilikuwa karibu sabato. Chingno sabato na chopo. Baba akaumia sana. Uro ni no winjo mara cha. Baba amechapa mtoto huyu ambaye hana kosa. No chwado no chwado nyathini maonge ketho. Alafu mchana to godu chieng. Siku iliyofuata. Godu chieng mana lo bange. Baba akaenda kwa mwana wake. To uro no dhiri uode. Ambaye ni mtoto mdogo. Manya thematini. Akamwambia unisamee. Uko nene wena. Unisamee nilikuchapa bure. Ana chwadi nono. Mtoto yule akakata. Nyathi cha tamore wene ikafika sabato ugikching sabato baba hakuenda kanisani uoro noko dhichi kanisani kwa sababu ya uchungu ambaye alifanya kumlit manotimono alafu akaenda tena kenonyo chako doko aka musi mwana wake chako ususaye uode unesame wena nilikukosea na timo richo ni adiesi basi mtoto siku ya pili aka sema nimekusame nyati udi chingmara reyo wachone awe ni uora nimekusame awe ni uora Baba akafurai kwa sababu amesamehe. Uro ni no more ni kech uode na wene. Amesamehewa na mtoto mdogo. Kendo uode owene wei maten. Baba yule alikubali. Ni uoro no no ye. Kama Adam angekubali. Ni ka Adam de ye. Tonga kuwa tafauti. Ni koro wapogo ni kakawano. Basi dhambi imeingia dunia yote. Omeo richo sado nje pinyi duto. Ote wamekua wenye dhambi. Kendo ji duto sabi dojo richo. Ote wameweza kufa. Kendo ji duto to. Kwa dhambi. Ni kech richo. Lakini sikia maa. Tukoro winjigi mandiko wacho Katika kitabu hicho cha matendo ya mitume Nye bukmati jote Unasikia yesu akisungumuza na paulo Wawinjo ka yesu wewe paulo Ambaye alikuwa anaitua sauli Mani luongo ni saulo Alikuwa anaitua saulo Ebu soma fungu hilo Soma na yasni Katika kitabu cha matendo ya mitume Tijo ote Kumina nne Apar gangwen Hata kumina nane Hata kumina nane hapa tunaambiwa juu ya hadithi ambao Paulo alikutana na Yesu. Kainyi sawasigana kaka Paulo oradogi Yesu. Yeye anamuuliza tokao penje walipokutana hivi kane giromo kama na nuru kutoka mbinguni ikawamulika kendo ler manoe polo no menyoge paulo anasema sisi zote tulianguka chini paulo wacho ni waduto no walwarelo kisha sauti kikasema kasto duinjo kuduwa lmoroka wacho sauli sauli ni saulo saulo mbona waniuthi angomi ya isanda nifigumu sana kupiga mateke eee Mchoko En gima teka hinya Goyo Gweyo 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 nga maduong Mchoko ama matofali Ki gweyo kidi Paulo akasema Paulo wacho Wewe ni nani mbwana Ini ni nga nyasai Mwana akaniambia Ato nyasai unisa Mimi ni yesu ambaye wewe unamuthi Ani yesu misando Paulo alikuwa akitesa wa kristo Paulo nesando nyithi nyasai Kabula yeye haja kutana na yesu Kapok norado kinya yesu Paulo alikuwa mutesi ya watu wa mungu Paulo nesaneja sando mari nyithi nyasai Lakini wali lipo kutana na yesu kino kane gerado ki yesu yesa kamuambia ya kwamba weo unanitesa yesu no nyise ni sanda walipo kuwa chini sasa kane koro gine lo gine ndo mungo yesu akamuambia yesu nyise 
Enoka ni chung amalo wasimame kwa miguu yako ichungitie ndi maana nimekutokea kwa sababu hii afanye rani ni monda keti nikuweke uwe mtumishi wa shahidi uwe mtumishi na shahidi ya mambo hayo uliyoyaona na mambo ambayo katika hayo nitajithiriisha kwako afanye rani ni monda keti je tichi kija neno kumweche maise nenaye kendo kumweche mana fwenye ranie yesa kamambia muka yesu nanyi sene ya malo na mimi nitakutuma to ina birori yeye akampa kazi sasa kasto mie teach ye biblia inasema ya kwamba muma wacho ni ya mistari wa kumina nane west ni ya pargaboro inasema o wacho uafungue macho yao ni yao wangi na kuageuza wasiyaji wasiyaje giza na kuelekea nuru giae mudo gidi eler wasiache na nguvu za shetani kendo giae teko satan na kumwelekea Mungu gidi ili nyasae kisha watapata msamaa wa dhambi zao mondo kagi yie kuoma to wene girichogi na urithi na urithi miongoni mwao kendo giyodi gikeni kachel waliotakazwa kwa imani iliyo kwangu mimi gijo mosedoko jomaler yesu anasana mwambia paulo yesu nyiso paulo nitakutuma nabiro ori uafungue macho ya watu wangu monde yao wangjoga watoke katika giza mondo giae mudo na watoke katika utawala wa shetani kendo giae kumloch giteko mar satan wapenzi nyo usiepena isi nasi tumekuja hapa wanbende wa sebiroka toke tumwa na roho wa mungu kuhoro wa gero marinya sae ili kuakumbusha mondo miwaparnu ili kuambia mondo miwanyisu ili macho ya yenu yuweze kufunguka mondo yao wangwa waduto macho ya mioyo yenu mondo wang marchunywa yuweze kufunguka mondo mioyo yaore kutoke katika giza wae mudo na muingie kwenye nuru ya buwana na wetu Ka, Yesu Kristo. Kawadonje ler maruoro Yesu Kristo. Unapowaambia ya kwamba kendo kawanyiso ukama. Kuna wakati wa kumwombea aliyekufa. Ni ongesa katokang mibiru lemo nenga motho. Hakuna wakati ambapo utaombewa ukiwa mfu. Ongee uching mibiru lemnie kisetho. Ati ili wewe uweze kusongeshwa uende mbinguni. Mondo miochori ni monetary polo. Unafungua macho yenu ndugu zangu. Waya wenge wu siepewa ili mupate kuona mondo miubedi ngine kujua mondo ubedi ngineyo ya kwamba saa ya kupata msamaha ni saa mari yudo ngono saa ya toba kendo saa mari utimu winjiruo na kubadilika kendo mari lokro ni wakati wewe unasikia enen sami wingi winjo ni wakati wewe unapumua kenen sama podingema lakini wakati umenyamaza nito sami setho milingfi wakati umewekwa kwenye sanduku samu seketie sanduku mambo yako imeisha weche ni duto rumo ni wakati wako mwana ensani usiepa ni wakati wako baba ensani uoro weza kumucha mungu ungali huko hai mwono miwa minya saidu unkapodo wangema hebu tazama fungu hili wangea ne wesni katika kitabu hicho ebugno okiweza kusoma pamoja nami kisomo kodaka achiel katika kitabu cha wa efeso moja mistari wa saba yo efeso achiel we sabirio unaone ya kwamba paulo anasema ineno ka paulo wacho macho yenu yuweze kufunguka ni mundo miwangu oyawre na mupate musama wa dhambi zenu kendo yudu ngono maricho musetemo mupate musama wa dhambi zenu mundo yudu ngono kumru Richo manya usetemo Ebu soma kitabu cha Waefeso. Wasom jo Ifeso. Kitabu cha Waefeso moja mstari wa saba Ni mjo jo Ifeso achelwe sabiro wacho. Unasikia maneno haya ambayo Biblia inazungumzia. O wacho ni kuom en wangi waruo kumrembe. Ma en weo kethwa kaka mwandu mar ngonone obet. Eh? Ati nini hiyo? Kuom en eh wangi waruo kumrembe asante kwake yeye hii tunao katika unaona katika yeye ni kuom en huyo en 
huyo Nga, ni bwana Yesu. Not no en Yesu. Na kwa damu yake. Kindo kumrembe. Tunayo ukombozi wetu. En uwe oketwa. Hama tunao ukombo tunao ukombozi wetu. Kindo wangi waro. Tunakomba lewa na Kristo Yesu. Hiwe ni waketwa wa Kristo. Tunaokolewa na Kristo Yesu. Hiwe ara wa Kristo. Alafu Biblia inaendelea kusema maneno. Ndio muma dimbele kwa chowecheki. Na msamaa wa dhambi. Ni ni weo maricho. Sawa sawa na wingi wa neema yake. Ni bende chalma na ngono mare mangeny. Katika neema ya Kristo Yesu. Ni kum ngono mar Kristo Yesu. Katika neema ya Bwana wetu Mungu. Kum ngono mar nyasachwa. Tunapata msamaa wa dhambi. Wa yudo ngono mar au. Tunaweza tumehewa ndugu yangu. Inyalo wenu au siepna. Kuna mwanamke mmoja. Nitie mio moro. Katika maandiko matakatifu. E nie bibloska. Yeye alisamewa dhambi zake. En no wene richone. Yeye alikuwa musharati. Kindo ene jechode mangoga. Na mungu haka musamehe. Yesu no wene richone. Yeye haka mpenda buwana Yesu sana katika moyo wake. Embe no ero nyasaya hinye chunye. Haka mpenda yeye katika moyo wake. Nuno ohere ya hinye chunye. Halafu kisiku moja. Kindo aduchi mwara chia. Haka enda kwa Yesu. Odiri Yesu. Hakiwa amenunua mafuta ya ajabu. Kongeo mo manungo neteke. Yesu alikuwa hako katika nyumba ya Simoni. Yesu neni yoyu dokaniya od Simeon. Alipofika. Kano chopo. Haka pasua. No baro chupa. Haka pasua chupa. No mafuta ilikuwa ndani. No baro chupa. Mane montie. Anafu anapaka migu ya Yesu. Kasto wiro tiendi Yesu. Anaweka kwenye mafuta ili. Okete mocha. Anachukua nyele yake. Kasto kawu ye wie. Anapanguza. Oyue yogodo. Walio keti katika nyumba hile. Jokuma nubede odni. Waka lalamika. Negi ngur. Waka sema uyu sasa. Togi wacho ni tukuru ngani. Mbona anapotesa pesa hile. Angomi yo ketho pesa kama. Iyo mafuta negali sana. Pesa ni nengo nete. Moni nengo nete. Iyo mafuta ilikuwa beiju sana. Moni nengo nete. Mbona anapotesa. Angomi yo kethe. Iyo pesa ingechukuliwa. Tugawe kwa. Pesa ni. Tugawe kwa masikini. Pesa ni doka omu ndo miwapogu nejo chan. Yesu akawaambia. Yesu nyisoge. Huyu alisamehewa dhambi zote. Mano wene richo ne duto. Ndio anapenda sana. Mane mumi wa engi hera moloyo. Ninyi nimekuja hapa. Una nyaka nabika. Kwa nyumba yako Simoni. E odika Simeon. Hakuna kitu ambacho umenipatia. Ongegi misemea. Na huyu mwanamke. Nito mioni. Tangu ni kiti. Nyaka nabika. Amepanguza miguu yangu. Oselu okotienda. Mafuta. Osewi rogimo ni ya beiju mabeche tek na wewe hujafanya chito to ino nge gimisetimo kwa sababu yeye amesamehewa dhambi zahe ni kecho sewe ni richone yesu haka muambia yesu nyise ni haa wewe umesamehewa dhambi zako kwa imani yako ino sewe ni richone kumieni inuka wende kwa amani chungmondo midigi kwe nataka kukuambia hata nawe ndubia ato na nyisi kata ino wadwa wana yesu hame kusamehe ninya sayo sewe ni wewe umesamehewa dhambi zako ni yesu sewe ni richone duto Omesamewa dhambi ya wizi Osewe ni richo marthukwalo Omesamewa dhambi ya usinifu Osewe ni richo marchode Omesamewa dhambi ya uongo Osewe ni richo marimireyambo Omesamewa dhambi ya kuiba Osewe ni richo markuelo Omesamewa dhambi ya makosa Wenda umeua ama chochote Osewe ni richo misetimo Kata marne giduto misetimo Wanema ya buwana umesamewa yote Wano marja wanya saa Osewe ni duto Kwa sababu ya upende wake umesamewa uwe Nekeche hera marinya sayo sewe ni duto Na jioni ya leo Kendo di midi ambo makawono Yesa anasema ya kwamba Yesu wachoni ya Dambi zako umesamehewa Richo ni duto sewe ni Na imekwisha Kendo rgutie kgite Halipo sulubishu wa ijuma jioni Kano gure msalaba chingticha bichi midi ambo Yesa alisema imekwisha Yesu no wachono rumo Na kisha akatoa roo yake kwa mungu Kasto no weo chunye Akafa msalabani kwa ajili yako na mimi Toe msalaba ne kech in kod an Akasema imeisha Mo wacho ni urumo Zambi tumetowa tumesamehewe Richo segol oko kendo sewenwa Wokofu umekamilika Waru oko sechepokare Ndugu zangu Usiepena Umesamehewa dhambi zako Useweni richo ni duto Neema ya buwana imefika nyumbani kwa Mwono mari nyasayo sechopodala Ame kusamehe kwa neema ya Useweni kum mwono ni uwono Hebu soma nami katika kitabu cha wa Efeso Moja amistari wa kumina sabo Ni wasombu kumarjo Efeso achel wesa paragabirio Usikie jambo ambalo buwana anatuambia Ondo wa winjigi mayesu wacho Anasema maneno haya Owato wechegi 
ni mondo nyasachi ruodhwa Yesu Kristo uoro manigi duong umi uchuny marareko kino marfuen kuomge mungu wabwana wetu Yesu Kristo baba wa utukufu awape ninyi roho ya hekima na ya ufunuo katika kumjua yeye Paulo anatuambe anatuombea hapa akisema Paulo lamon wako achonea Baba Mungu ni uoro awapatie ninyi roho ya hekima Niyo miwe chuny mar ngono wewe uweze kuwa na roho ya hekima bede gi chuny mar rieko ndio ombi la pekee ambalo Paulo anaomba mane kwayo ma Paulo kwayo maduong ambao Paulo anatuombea mane gi ma Paulo kwayo noa ya kwamba tuwe na roho ya hekima ni wabede gi chuny mar rieko na ya ufunuo toge mar fwenyo na ya kufungua kitu to mar ya watch moro ni katika mawazo yetu iwe wazi mondo pacho bed mal ili katika mioyo yetu ieleweke mondo chunyu obed kare ili katika mawazo yetu ionekane vizuri mondo pacho onene maler ya kwamba tumekwisha kuokolewa ndugu zangu ni adieri osewarwa alafu mstari wa 18 akasema wesa pargaboro wacho kama mondo wang chunyu oyawre unge geno manade ma oluongo uwe kod mwandu mar gikeni mage manigi duong man kuom jomaler asante sana rokamano macho ya mioyo yenu yatiwe nuru mujue tumaini la mujue tumaili la tumaini la mwito wenu no 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 mwito wake na chinzi ilivyo na utajiri wa utukufu wa urithi wake katika watakatifu kinzi ili, kinzi ulivyo ya kwamba macho ya mioyo yenu tende ni chuny wang mar chunyu yatiwe nuru ni mondo milero bedie ya moyo macho ya mioyo yenu ni wang mar chunywa yaweze kutiwa nuru ni mondo milero bedie ili muweze kujua tumaini Mo, la wito wake mondo miwange geno mar luongo mare kinzi mungu anavyowaita kaka nyasae luongoa kinzi mungu anavyokuita kaka nyasae luongi iwe ya kwamba moyo wako usiwe na usiwe na giza obed ni chunyi kikbed gimudo mora mora basi ya kwamba tunapotangaza chini hi ni ma eyo ma okang makawalando wachini usiwe oh, katika giza ndugu yangu niki kibede mudho wachonia tongonre uru ngato gingato kukechoru kuwe ruricho ngato gingato kaka nyasae e kristo bende no weo nu richo u amen tena iwe ni wafadhili ninyi kwa ninyi Wenye huruma mukasameana kama kama na Mungu katika Kristo halivyo wasamee ninyi. Halo? Toa msamaha kwa moyo wako. Ni gol wenye gol ngono echunyi. Na wacha ni waulize swali. Wewe ura penju penju. Kama unakubali kaiye utainua mkono wako ukiketi bro tingo badi kibet je unakubali kwamba umesamehewa adir bendi ye no sengoni kama unakubali umesamehewa inua mkono wako kopo ni ye no sengoni ting badi malo thank you so much ero rukamano na hivyo basi tokoro kamano uwe mtu ambaye una unafadhili Nito ibed ngat moro manegi ngono una huruma ingi ngono moro na unatoa msamaha kendi chiwo ngono no kam katika moyo wako eji chunyi duto ile ambavyo umesamehewa maana kaka imbe usengoni ile ambavyo umekubali maana kaka imbe siye toa msamaha nime korogolo ngono wasamee watoto wako ngone nyithindi msamee na mke wako ngone min odi msamee na bwana wako ngone chuori wakati mwingine ni sache moko wa mama ndiyo wanaweza kujua record sana wana wana file ya makosa nimeenemo 
ongeo gin ge file mar richo duto mosetimo wanaweza kukuambia kabisa ginyalo nyisi ka gin giketo chunyi gi ilikuwa ilikuwa tarehe ilikuwa mwezi fulani ni ndwe makama tarehe fulani tarik makama siku fulani uduchieng makama saa fulani saa makama uliniambia neno mbaya nyisa watch marach Ole nifanyia makosa ni timu na richo na kosa hilo to kendo richo no sijasahau pokwio wili go hata hata bwana hajui alifanya nini kata de chuo kian no timang lakini wana wana record to gin gin gi record maber usiweke file ya makosa niwe bedo gi record maricho alafu akikosa leo niko koso kawuono unamwambia unakumbuka nitu dongi kona ni dongi paro unajua dongi ngeyo vile ulifanya siku ile kaka nyochi timu chien kacha ndio hii umerudia kendo mai chake nuoe we in Kifunza kutoa msamaha ni puonjirichi wa ngono kifunza kutoa msamaha puonjirichi wa ngono na kufuta kendo iruche oko na kusahau kendo wewe will code unatoa msamaha ni gol ngono unaachana na kosa hili iwe rigi richo no unafuta iwe oko unasahau iwe will code alo Iwinjo. Ero kamano. Asante. Hebu angalia katika kitabu hiki. Kwaona wangi bugni. Nikiendelea kusema ya kwamba kifunza kutoa msamaha. Kawacho bimbele kawacho ni chi ngono. Msamee mwana wako. Ni ngone nyathini. Hata mtoto wako wa kike. Kata mwana nyathini manyako. Utoe msamaha kwake. Embe chi une ngono. Wengine mtoto akishika mimba. Jomoko kanyathio mako ich. Wanamfukuza atoke nyumbani. Kiri embe mondo wae dala. Alafu mama unasikia akisema. Mama iwinjo kawacho. Mimi tu ndio nimeruhusiwa kusaha katika hii nyumba. Ani moye na nyole odini. Hakuna mwingine atakaye saha. Onge ngat machelo mwinjo nyolka. Enda. Ndio. Mbaka mahali ulitoa hiyo mimba. Nyakido kuma ni yae gijino. Mtoto anashindwa anaenda wapi? Tipa chechande no bikanye. Toa msamaha kwake. Nichi ngono kwame. Umsamee vile alivyo vile Mungu amekusamea wewe. Nimbe ngone manaka kanya sayo seweni. Umsamee na mke wako. Ni ngone min odi. Umsamee yeye. Ngone ambaye anaweza kukosa jioni. Ma nyalo timu ni richo kudiambo. Anaweza kukosa asubuhi. Onyalo koso ni kata kukinyi. Umsamee yeye. Ni wene nbende. Na wakati unapotoa Musamaa. Dosami chiwo ngono no. Musamaa ileta inaleta amani. Nito ngono chikelo kwe. Na musamaa inaleta umoja. Ngono kela bede ya chiel. Musamaa inathibitisha upendo. Kendo ngono nyiso hera. Na hivyo basi. Tokero kama no. Unapotoa musamaa. Niki golo ngono. Gumbuka. Par. Inaleta amani nyumbani. Okelo kwe dala. Inaleta upendo nyumbani. Okelo hera dala. Inaleta kusikilizana. Okelo winjiruo. Na nyumba yako. Kendo. Odini na kwenu kendo dala u kota kwe kuna amani biro bedo gi kwe na sababu ya kutoa msamaha ni kech kumgolo ngono hebu soma nami katika kitabu hiki som koda bugni katika kitabu cha Yohana book mar Yohana Yohana wa kwanza mstari wa pili na 12 hata 14 Yohana mokwongo sura reo wesa paraga reo nyaka paraga ngwen Nalo Biblia inasema maneno kama haya ndugu yangu. Ah, Muma wacho wechege. Yohana, Yohana ambaye yeye alikuwa mwanafunzi wa Yesu. Maana uh, uh, japunjire Yesu. Mwanafunzi ambaye alikuwa mnyenyekevu sana. Na japunjire maana ni horwa kwa duong. Mwanafunzi ambaye alipendwa pia na Yesu. Nito en japunjire maana hergi Yesu ahenya. Ambaye usiku moja ma uduchi moro. Yesu aliambiwa huyu anafanya makosa. Maana nyise ni ngani timuricho. Akajibu Yesu akasema. Nito ye, no dua koko watu ni. Akasema huyu akae Asise mbaka nikuje kawacho ninga ni odagi kikofonya kachinga duogi nani anaswali nito en kipenjo haya huyu yohana ni yohana ni ndiye mwandishi aliyeandika kitabu cha ufunuo hene ngat manondiko book marfueny huyu yohana yohana ni 
aliwekwa siku ingine katika pipa ya mafuta ilio wekwa kwenye moto ene manuliche marono kete da pi marmo maliet aka wekwa ndani ya pipa no kete da pigni ambayo ina mafuta inayo waka manegi mo maniliet na ikafungwa to lorwie kisha ikafunguliwa kasto kano yao da pigno yohana akatoka kwenye pipa ile yohana no woke pipa no na akasema tupendane ko wacho ni wahere uru kwa sababu mungu ni pendo neket nyasaen hera yeye yohana huyu anajulikana sana kwa upendo yohana ungerea henya kwa mwache mag hera akasema tupendane ko wacho ni wahere uru huyu ndia anaandika hapa tena ene mundiko kakoro akasema hivi ko wacho kama ebu soma Andiko nu nyithindo nikechiricho uo wenu kumnyinge andiko nu uone nikech ungeo jalmanitie nyaka achakro andiko nu ya uo wi nikech useloyo ngamarachno asendiko nu nyithindo nikech ungeo uoro asendiko nu uone nikech ungeo jalmanitie nyaka achakro Asendiko nu ya uowi nikech ungeteko kendo watnya sae usiko eiu kendo useloyo ngamarachno amen Yohana anaandikia kila mmoja Yohana ndiko ni ngato kingato ameanza kwa kusema hivi Ochako kwa acho kama nawaandikia nyinyi watoto wadogo Kwa sababu mumesamehewa dhambi zenu Kumbe watoto wamesamehewa. Kata mana nyithindo matindo sewenegi. Biblia inasema mumesamehewa na dhambi zenu. Muma wacho ni osewenu richo uduto. Mumesamehewa dhambi ile mulikula sukari ya mama kidogo. Ni kata mana uchamo unango go sukari matindo. Mumesamehewa dhambi ile ya kuchukua noti ya msini. Kata mana richo markwalo pesa maro matindo marprabichi. Ukaenda kununua kangumu. Idingia go kangumu. Mumesamehewa. Ni nyati oseweni. Halafu hakasema hivyo. Kasto odi mbele kwa wacho na waandikia nyinyi akina baba kwa sababu mumejua yeye alie tangu mwanzo baba uoro kumbe mnajua mungu alie mwanzoni alie, alie kuwe kutangu mwanzo nikare usenge nyasai maniniti ya chakwa yohana amewaandikia yohana usendiko nu nini ambao mmejua mungu ni unmusenge nyasai na hivyo basi nito koro inatakiwa kwenu ukiwa baba koro duwaro ni ukuwa mworo weze kuangosa familia yako katika ukweli mono mitel ne familia niye badira weze kwa tunza na kwa elekeza wajue mungu wa kweli mono miriti kikichiko kikuwa mnyasai madira alafu akasema tena kasto wacho ni kendo na waandikia ninyi vijana andiko nuya ui matendo kwa sababu mmeshinda mmeshinda yule mwofu nikechu selo jasigu bila inasema ya kwamba vijana muma wacho ni ya ui matendo vijana wenye ngufu rowere manigiteko vijana ambao wana ngufu ya mawazo na ya mwili rowere manigiteko maraparo kod ringro wakasema ni nawaandikia kwa wacho ni umbandiko nu kwa sababu muna ngufu ni kechu ungeteko ya kuweza kushinda shetani mark ni ke loyo satani ya kuweza kushinda dhambi mar loyo richo hivyo wapenzi koro jowete na kataka kusema ya kwamba ni wacho kama hakuna alie achwa ni onge ngatmano we ote maandiko matakativi ya nasungu mzi duto biblos weo kodwa nataka kuwaita sasa adwa na luongu koro ninyi ambao buwana amewasame ni unduto manyasayo sewenu mungu akisema ya kwamba kanyasayo wacho yeye amejawa na uruma ni en en kodu ngwono mathot na ana wingi wa rehema kendo en gi ngwono mathot na anatoa musamaha kendo chiwo ngwono no hili aweze kwe shimiwa mwono mio mieduo mungu wa mbinguni ametusame nyasayi manipulo malo sewenu mungu wa mbinguni ametutakaza nyasayi manipulo sefpua Mungu wa mbinguni ametusafisha Nyasaye oselu wako wa Na sisi ni watakatifu wa mbinguni Kendo wanu wanjok makare magewa nyasaye Na sisi tunangwaja yesa arudi hivi karibu Kendo warito duwa kiesu marareo Napenda kukuita ndugu yangu Na gombo mundo miyaluungi wa usepa Mbae umekubali umesamewa dhambi zangu Ini meseye no sewe ni richo ni Umekubali umetakazo wakatika dhambi Ini meseye no sewe upuwa bie kumricho Wito wangu inaenda hivi Tuluungu na bichalo kama
Kwa sababu tungali tuko chini ya jua nikichka poru wantie wangle bado tunapigana na shetani kabu poru wane bo wanchin kendo waigi satan tunahitaji ngufu wadwaro teko tunahitaji tego wadwaro teko ili tupate kushinda shetani mondo walo satan kama unahitaji nguvu ile kadi poni dwaro teko no nitakuomba utoke kwa ema uje kwa uwanja tupate kuomba pamoja na akwai ni mondo mi hai bo ema ibi mbele kama ndo mewalem kama unahitaji tego Kaidu wa rote kono Teko iyo Kikiwa unaitaji nguvu Mbae itakuesesha ushinde dhami Mabiru mi teko maralo satan Teko hiyo Nguvu hiyo Itaweza kusaidia wewe uwe utowe musama Mabiru konyi kendo mi Chiungono Teko hiyo Mwonono Itakusaidia uwe mutu ya upendo Biru keti bero ngatu majahera Itakuesesha usimame katika imani Kendo biru mi chungu miye Asante ndugu zangu Erurukamano wetewa Asante ni sana wana Erurukamano wetewa Mbao mbao Unjogo dute mosego kang. Santeni sana vijana. Eruka mano nyithindo. Santeni sana baba. Uno eruka mano uone. Santeni sana mama. Eruka mano mine. Bao muna itaji ngufu. Unu mudu wa roteko. Nataka kukuambia. Hado na muna nyisi. Mungu ata kupatia yu. Nyasae biru miteko no. Na yeye ata kapa moja na. Kito enu biru biru kodi. Akueseshe. Mono mi miteko. Kuhishi maisha matakapu. Mono mi idak ngima makare. Nataka kuenda kuomba sasa. Hado wa mono mnyalemu. Nataka kuomba sasa. Hado mwana mwana lemu. Na wakati tunaomba. Kukindu sama walemu. Hata wale muko nyumbani. Kata manajoku maunda la sani. Hapa mwana tusikia. Unijoku mawinyo wakuwa mturufo. Hapwezi kuja hapa sasa. Seche moko kunya luka sani. Lakini ninge kuuliza. Nitoda kuwa iku maintie. Nusimame pamoja na sisi. Nimondo imi chunka maintie kodwa. Nusimame sasa katika nyumba yako. Mondo mi chunge diere odikanyo. Nusimame sasa kwa sababu tunayenda kuomba. Nime chunkanyo ne kechikoro wadi lemu. Kwa sababu mungu anakupatia ngufu hata ukiwa nyumbani niket nyasae mi teko kataka ineodi mungu ambaye ame kusamehe nyasae mose weoni ana kupatia ngufu ya kushinda shetani omi teko marlo satan ebu na tuombe sasa walemu baba yetu na yetu penda mumba wa mbingu na nchi ulea umba vitu vinavyo wanekana na visivyo wanekana Baba yetu, tuna kuja mbele zako na jioni ya leo. Toki omba unapo watembelea na kuwasamee watu wengine duniani. Ambao wanaita jina lako. Baba mwema, usitusahau na sisi katika sehemu hii. Njo kwetu upate kututakaza. Njo kwetu upate kutusamee na dhambi zetu. Baba yetu ulaishi mbinguni na unatupenda. Tume kukosea kwa mawazo. Tume kukosea kwa maneno. Tume kukosea kwa matendo. Hata tume kukosea kwa mioyo zetu. Tunaomba utusamee yote baba yetu. Tunaomba utupatie rehema zako na ututakaze kwa upendo wako. Pamoja na hayo baba yetu wa mbinguni, tunaomba uweze kutusafisha na uweze kutuponya kimwili waponye wale ambao wanaugua magonjo tofauti tofauti ambao wanatusikia sasa waponye kwa upendo yako bwana jinsi ambavyo uliwatembelea wengine na kuwasamee na, kuwa, na kuwaponya ebu uweze kutembea kwa manyumba ya wale wanakuhitaji hata wale wanaugua katika mahospitali naomba bwana uweze kwa rehemu kwa upendo wako Weze kuwasamehe na kuwapatia ngufu na kuwaambia waondoke katika vitanda vyao wakiwa na wa, wakiwa washindi wakiwa wamepata ngufu na wamepona katika jina lako Baba mwema tunajiweka mikononi mwako kwa hali zote tukisema asante kwa sababu umetusamehe na asante kwa maana unatupatia ngufu ya kuweza kupigana na shetani na kushinda katika majaribu ambao anaweka katika njia zetu kila wakati. Watu yako ndiyo hao wamesimama. Wameomba Bwana wapatie nguvu hili. Wapatie uwezo ya kuweza kutembea ya kuweza kutembea vizuri mbele zako, ya kuweza kutenda matenda mazuri inayokupendeza wewe. Na hayo yote baba yetu tunaomba utuwezeshe kwa neema yako. 
Asante kwa kutusikia. Asante kwa kujimu maombi yetu kulingana na mapenzi yako katika jina la Yesu aliye mwokozi wetu. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much friends. Irukamano siepe. Wakati mnaporudi Samau dog sikia simama kidogo kai chung maten nikukumbushe ni jambo hili aparni watch name kama unahitaji maombi nikaponi edwaru lemu ya pekee nyumba edwaru lemu makende yodi andika jina lako ndik nyingi umpatie mzee wa kanisa imi ya kwatka kama ulirudi nyuma kwa njia hii ama njia kadiponi dokchin eyo moro kata machiano angalia maisha yako talking you kitingimani unaona umemkosea Mungu na umekukiwa seti munenya sairicho na unaona ya kwamba kindineno ungemrudia Mungu kwa njia ya ubatizo di dokne kum Kristo kokalukumbatisa andika jina lako ndik nyingi na umpatie mzee wa kanisa imeja kwa hata ukiwa mtoto mdogo katibe ni nyathemate andika jina lako ndik nyingi na upeane mondichiu hata ukiwa mzee katibe ni jaduo andika jina lako ndik nyingi na upeane mondichiu asante sana ro kama na hinya bwana awabariki nyasayo medguedo thank you so much ro kama na hinya ah just Oh, 
Chemo ilan mo chere.